Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to this match play game between the Death Watch and the Imperial Knights. I don't know why it's Imperium against Imperium, but still, uh, we're doing Take and Hold today with Chilling Rain and Dawn of War. So nice, simple, easy, no extra special rules. Take and Hold of Dawn of War essentially means there's five objectives on the table. There's one right in the middle, one on either flank and one in the centre of each deployment zone because we're deploying on the long table edges. And you get five points for one objective, ten points for two, and uh, fifteen points for three. So really nice, easy, simple. Take the objectives, hold the objectives, and score points. Killing things is useful as well, but not not necessary. Um, so that's the mission for terrain and things. We've got ruins everywhere. I've done like a tournament e type layout today. So lots of ruins, which are of course obscuring. They will ruin your line of sight. You can't shoot through them, but you can shoot into them. Or if you're holding within, you can shoot out. Or if you're a knight, you can touch it and shoot out. It's worth saying that today because you've got some. Most most beneficial to me. Or at least it's it's only the Titanic knights, isn't it? It's not the, yes, it's not, yeah, it's, so it's not the small not ones. The yeah, so that's what ruins do, uh, and of course they give you the benefits of cover if you're in them or slightly obscured by them, and likewise for the trees and the bushes and the crates because I love a good bush that will give you benefits of cover. So yes, that is the mission and the terrain for today. Before we see the guests and the army, smash the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more. There'll be a battle report or something every single week. And if you want to support the channel further, you can become a YouTube channel member and get early access videos or join the Discord and things like that. And if you like saving money, which I think you're a fool if you don't, you can check out the Element Games link below as well to get cheaper minis, paints, brushes, and whatever else you want, really, that they sell. I think they sell many other things. They sell but everything. <laughs> they sell everything, apparently. But yes, today we have Reese. Hello. You're here again, and you brought your Imperial Knights again. I have. Look, um, I was... Got to mix up the list, but unfortunately I didn't, didn't get the, my new guest star ready. So I'm running back with, bringing back Rex, partnered up with a warden who is running the banner. The um, banner? Casper. Yeah, so uh, he gets sticky objectives. So Very useful with knights. Have, yeah, so a low model count means I can just go up, grab it, next turn it's mine and move on. Yep, cool. Partnered up with four armagers. Um, sorry, no, I'm just uh, war glaives. Each of the war glaives are running the melter on top, and so they've got the thermal spear and uh, chain blade. So melter and choppy, choppy, very nice. Then I've got two helverins, so they've got the auto cannons, and they are both equipped with the stubber. So daka daka. Then I've got the one major difference from my last list. I've got a Calidus assassin now, partnered up with the vindicari. Yes, you've got the super sniper who can be really amazing, but sometimes isn't. And my new action monkey who will jump around the board and do various yeah, things. Yeah, because she's got the inoperative and she can jump off and jump back on again and jump off and jump back on again. And also, and so on. Uh, she can increase the cost of a battle tactic by one CP. Yes. so For, for me, the rest of the game. Yeah, so basically that will be, for me, it will either be an armour of contempt or a CP reroll. Yes. <laughs> That's literally it. That's what I, I've got. I, I, I think um, I've, I've learned my lesson... Sort of playing more nice, I think it'll probably be armor contempt. Yeah, I mean, CP reels for random damage weapons like as cannons could be annoying, but yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but what do knights do? What's Imperial Knights' thing? So, obviously, as you can see, nice big robots. Uh, they're faction rule, so I'm running the Noble Lance, so I get a uh, plus, um, I get a six up invuln. No, I involve sorry, uh, feel no pain. Yep. And I also get to select an oath. I can either take um, one that gives me plus one to movement, advance, and charge, and is fulfilled if I take the enemy home objective, or you can take Lalo the Tyrants, which is um, gives me a reroll to one failed hit and one failed wound per unit on during the shooting phase and also during the um fight phase. fight phase and that is fulfilled when i kill the enemy warlord and when that's when the oath is fulfilled i get free cp and a five uh feel no pain right and, and so for warlord will be old rex boy t-rex T cool okay is that everything? I suppose it's a fairly simple list. It's knights. Yeah, so it's quite small. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's small, but not small because they're no, like no. knights. <laughs> cool. Okay. Right, and uh, moving on to the Death Watch. So Death Watch are Space Marines. Uh, so we get the O for moment. So essentially, in my command phase, I can pick a unit of yours, and I think my army can reroll hits against it, which is nice against an army with low model count. 
Um, so that could be could come in handy. And I'm running the Death Watch Detachment. So I get Kill Team Tactics. So in my command phase, I can pick one if I want to, and it'll be active until my next command phase, and I can do each one once per battle. I can give the entire army lethal hits, sustained hits, or critical hit, uh, precision hits on critical hits. Don't think I'll need precision today. You haven't got any characters. So. <laughs> I do. They just all have lone operative. <laughs> yes, and, and, uh, and precision isn't really going to help against them. No, they, they um, don't want to be hiding in squads. No, no, unfortunately not. Um, so lethal hits, sustained hits, very good. So basically Death Watch are all about volume, basically. So I'm looking for sixes. Yes. So I've built a list that has lots of volume. <laughs> so what have I got in my list today? I'll start off with my Warlord. So this is my Warlord for, for your yeah. oath thing. It's my Terminator Captain, or Captain Terminator Armour. Uh, he's an Ultramarine, so if you want to kill him, that's fine. We just won't tell Sir Paul of Ultramar about it. <laughs> All right. Um, he has the Relic Blade and Storm Bolter, and he has the Enhancement the Tome of Ectoclades. So what, for one of my turns where I pick an over moment target, I can pick a second target and reroll hits and wounds against both. That's once per game I can do that. Is that just for his squad? That's for the entire army. So it's, it's like very double. dangerous. It's a very good enhancement. It costs 40 points for that enhancement, which is why I've put him in a tanky unit of Terminators, because <laughs> he has to be alive <laughs> to use it and on the battlefield. Um, so he's joining a unit of Terminators. He gives them real charges, and I can do a battle tactic for free with them as well, which is very nice. Uh, so the unit of Terminators is a Death Watch Terminator squad, so I can give them all the toys. Uh, so I've got three of them with Cyclone Missile Launches and two of them with Hammers and Shields, and one of them's also got a Chain Fist. Which for once might actually come in handy. <laughs> well, it's an anti vehicle free. Anti vehicle free up. Yeah, it's hit on falls, which is a bit poo, but you know, it's probably better. Well, we're both at the moment. Yeah. Help, helps relieve that. Yes, but it is still only AP 2 2 damage. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's the Terminators. If they charge you, they'll give you a battle shot test. Whatever. Right. Terminators. <laughs> what else have I got? I've got a Phobos Librarian with a unit of infiltrators. So he joins them and gives them stealth and essentially low and operative. So if you want to shoot them, you have to get it in 12. And of course they're infiltrators, so you can't deep strike or come in from reserves within 12 of them. So if you want to hit them, you have to get close to them the hard way. Yeah, can't, can't come around the back door. No. Sneak up. No, infiltrators like covering their back passage. <laughs> um, so you know infiltrators, they've of course got the Helix Gauntlet for a 6 up for no pain and the comms race. So if I do spend a strategy on them on a 5 up I can get a CP back which is very nice uh, behind them is a unit of not infiltrators it's a Spectrous Kill Team which also has a Helix Gauntlet doesn't have the other thing because I can't give them the other thing um, but they can essentially infiltrate and scout move which is quite rare not very often you can get a unit that can do both that's the SA. so that's Trixie and at the end of your turn they can disappear and go back into strategic reserves so they can hop off, hop That'll on, hop off. Slippery. They're a bit like your assassin, but, but not as feminine. Um, <laughs> although, yeah, the, 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 the blood angel, maybe. Um, <laughs> behind them, we've got a unit of intercessors. Uh, they give sticky objectives, which is nice. I've got a thunder hammer in there and the grenade launcher, obviously. So intercessors, cheap, fairly quick trading unit, basically. And next to them, I've got another cheap, fairly quick trading unit called Eliminators. They can move, shoot, move. They've got the bolt sniper weapons, which are quite nice, but they're just cheap in their stealth, and they can infiltrate. They're annoying. In front of them, I have the lieutenant in, with combi weapon, which is the Phobos lieutenant, who's not a Phobos lieutenant. Uh, he gets stealth, low operative, a feel no pain. If you run near him, he can run away again. Basically, he's really annoying to try and kill. Yeah. Um, and he will pick an objective at the start of the game, and my entire army can re-roll, can re-roll wound rolls of one against any of your units that are on that objective for the entire game, as long as he's alive. Very nice. Ability. So it's nice. He's cheap. He's also quite useful as a little action monkey because he's difficult to get hold of. Indeed. So that's him. Uh, behind them, I have my my plasma ball of death. It's a unit of 10 Hellblasters with a lieutenant to give them lethal hits and fallback shoot and charge, which is very, very nice. They can shoot on death, potentially, and he gives them um, lethal hits. Just said that. What's he got? He's got the Beacon Angelus. That's the other thing he's got. So they can all deep strike because that's hilarious and fun. Over here, I have a new unit. It's not quite finished, unfortunately, so I'm not going to zoom in too far. Um, <laughs> it's a unit of assault intercessors with jump packs because they're cheap, they're quick, good trading unit, and if someone's got chaff, they're good at just clearing out chaff, basically. So, yeah, a bit of mobility with them, which is nice. Um, behind them, got some eradicators because they're cheap and they have a potential to do lots of damage with their four reels against vehicles for hits, wounds, and damage. I'm, I'm basically all vehicles. So... 
Yeah, sometimes they whiff, sometimes they don't, but it's only a cheap unit, 95 points, so that's fine. And more often than not, I actually get more hits than shots, because I, well, I do sustained hits and things, which is fun. <laughs> but that tends to be the, the trend. Um, <laughs> that's the trend of this army, getting more hits than shots. Um, so unit eradicate is very nice. Uh, and at the back, I've got the three dreadnoughts with a tet marine, so I've got two redemptors, uh, which both reduce damage by one, which is very nice. They've both got the macro plasma, the rocket pod, the twin nipple storm bolters, uh, Dark Angel 1's got Heavy Flamer, Ultramarine's got the Onslaught Gatling Gun under the fist, uh, and then between them I've got a Ballista's Treadnought with the Last Cannons and the Rocket Launchers. And uh, he always rerolls hits as long as his target is not below half strength. Yes. So he doesn't need O for a moment to get the rerolls. Which I, is, which I, I is always nice. forget his ability. Well, most of the time you shoot in the over moment target anyway. Yeah. So, but, eh, if, on the occasion where the rest of the army kills the over moment target, you can then shoot something else. Uh, and then I've given my Tet Marine who can obviously buff the vehicles with plus one hit and healing them. I gave him the Thief of Secrets, because I had 15 points left over. And Techmans get quite angry when vehicles die near him, and that enhancement basically gives him an extra strength, AP and damage on all of his melee weapons. So he can have seven attacks with, him, with his axe, if you kill a vehicle near him, at strength seven, AP three, flat three damage. He's given those hilarious Terminators a run for their money. Yeah, he's 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 quite good against Custodes, actually, I found out recently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and once he's killed something in combat, he gets an extra two strength AP in damage. So you can then have a four damage axe at AP4 that's and strength eight, very, which is hilarious. That's scary. And it also affects the strength AP and damage of a servo arm as well. So... They're just more attacks. Very angry tech marine, basically. Uh, and he's actually got a grav pistol, which I might actually use today instead of his forge bottle because it's anti vehicle two up. But he's got to get within twelve inches before he shoots you with that, so I'll probably use his forge bottle because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to get within twelve inches because then you can shoot him. But anyway, that's him. <laughs> that's the list. Uh, I think all we need to do now is to roll for deployment and things like that. Do you have a dice, good sir? I do. You do. Excellent. I use my. Well, my Raven Guard dice. The Raven Guard dice. It's a two, but it's all right. It's a roll that doesn't really matter. I've rolled a six. Okay, well, I'll defend. I'll go here, because I get a better camera angle. Knights can go over there. We'll deploy, we'll alternate, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back after deployment, and the Death Watch are on this side, and the Knights are over there. So I'll quickly run through deployment and things. I've got my Hellblasters, which will be deep striking in, and the Eradicators in reserves as well. Uh, and then from my deployment, I'll put the Captain with the Terminators on the home objective behind that ruin. Very nice. They're safe-ish, unless you can get an angle, but they should be okay. Uh, the infiltrators with the Phobos Librarian strung up nicely at the back, so they're screening out lots of board, basically, and you can't shoot them because Phobos Librarian nonsense. And they're also on the home objective, so very nice. Uh, on this flank, I've got my Lieutenant with combo up in here. He's taunting you. You can see him, but you can't shoot him. He's got an operative. So he's being annoying. And then I've got some assault. I'm going to keep them, call them assault marines because they are assault marines rather than intercessors with assault jump packs or whatever they're called. They're there behind the ruin with the blisters. They're all nice and safe. And on this flank, I've got my redemptors, which look as though they're in the open, but they kind of aren't because I'm out of all your melter ranges. I've pre measured everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to do some wishful thinking. Yes. So all the dreadnoughts at the back aren't necessarily hidden, but they're out of range. So if you go first, even with your 12 inch moving 24 inches, just out, so that's good. Tap means with the Redemptors over here. Intercess is behind this ruin, so I've got something in this corner if I get, I don't know, investigate signals or something. Um, and then I've put my Eliminators behind this wall here, because Infiltrate and their Eliminators, they're being sneaky. And uh, just in front of this ruin, I've got my Spectre's Kill Team, which are going to taunt you. And then after the roll-off, they'll probably do a scout move and run back down the ruin. Ah, uh, they playing chicken and lost then. No, no, they're, they're being... Well, they, they, they they're flinch. taunting you. They flinch first. No, we haven't had the roll-off yet. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, so that's my deployment uh, and my thinking behind that. I've got something to trade off the middle objectives and lots of stuff out of range if I don't go first. Um, your knights, what's yeah. your thinking with the knights? So over here, basically trying to get everything as hidden as possible so I'm not just open for free shooting. So yes. I've got Helverin and two Warglaves partnered up with the uh, Vindicari. Yep. So they're just going to sit there and start to advance up using cover. Yeah, there's a nice little objective here for them. Come, come and get it. Go on, a day. And then I've got the warden on my home objective, so that's going to be secured. Sticky, very nice. Uh, yeah. With another hiding warglaive. Yeah. 
And then over here, I've got Rex with a um, Helverin and also my Calidus. And I also have one uh, Warglaive that's currently in reserves. Yes, to come on and outflank me potentially somewhere, maybe. But won't be able to get anywhere near the infiltrators. Um. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, so I, I won't be coming in, in the won't, back line. Won't be coming in here, it'll be on a flank somewhere probably. Yeah, cool. Okay, all right, well, let, let's see who's going first, I guess. After you, good sir, good luck. The roll that does matter, you see, you roll higher. That's nice. Did you want to go first, though? Um, I I, I may have a single move I can do if I go first, which could maybe work. What What's that move? Concede? Uh, no, it will oh. be at least be using <laughs> using my CP early. Okay, right. Um, right. My roll is a oh, it's a five that's as well. Five. Okay, well, after you again then. Anyways, if you go first, that means you've got to move up towards me. Yeah. But I can get in oh, range and line of sight though, so that's fine. Oh, there you go. You've just beaten me. Right, cool. Uh, not Raven Guard. Imperial Knights, turn one. We'll be back after their command and movement phase. And my scout move. Okay, Imperial Knights, turn one, command and movement phase and things. Uh, I did my scout move. They ran beyond the ruin. Uh, and then you've decided to go fixed objectives for this game. Yes, I have. I've so, gone for engage on all fronts and assassinate. Kill the characters, run around a lot. Seems quite simple, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then the command phase both going to CP not much else happened and you ran all your knights towards me basically and your Vindicare has moved around to get a slightly better angle with his sniper rifle against a, a, a dreadnought yeah so it's, <laughs> as, as the situation sits only this dreadnought's going to be targeted yeah because it's the only thing that can be targeted with ease and fingers crossed he blows up because how many wounds does he have Tap room four. He won't be able to bluff and kill Tap room. No. Oh, I, maybe I could do enough. If you kill him, him, he will get very, very angry, though. <laughs> it, it, there's a lot. He's got to run a long way. It's all right. He's in power armor. He can run. Um. So, yeah, so I will be using my only CP to use the Squire's duty on that, that redemptor. Dread, the redemptor. So it improves the strength and armor penetration of my weapons. Okay, but, but in order to use it, I need two armagers to be in range, which is my two helverins. Yes, because none of your other war dogs are in range, unfortunately. No, I made a slight miscalculation in my deployment. Well, not just that. After you deployed them, I then measured and purposely deployed out of your range. Yeah, um, <laughs> which is one of the downsides to being such a small model number. Yes, they can be counter deployed. Yeah, so you can, you can have a couple of helverins shoot in. He's in range with a few guns. Yeah. He's, so, he's in range with his bad profile with his gun? No, he's he's just moved up. Or has he literally got nothing to shoot at? Oh, yeah, he's out of range. Yeah, yeah he, he literally he, has he, nothing he, to shoot he at. He did not move anywhere to get in range. So it's literally going to be a few auto cannons and then a few shots from this chap. It, it's just the unfortunate game of I move up to get a better turn to, but I will be shot at, or I hide all the way back there and waste it. Uh, and, and then not be getting engaged next turn because obviously you need something to start coming over this flank, don't you? Really? Yeah. yeah. Just to say, I, I, I need to risk versus reward here. Yes. Okay. So what what are you starting with then? So we'll start off with the main attraction of my army, which will be the Vindic. The Vindicari. Vindicari. <laughs> okay. So, so he's going to shoot this Redemptor over here, yeah. is he? Well. Yeah, but not the special bullet. No, you don't want to waste your special bullet on a dreadnought. That's probably not really worth it. But you'll hit on a two. Hitting on two, and I'll be strength seven. There ten. Yeah, you'll be winning on fives. Yeah. Well, you it definitely hits. hit. Right. So five or sixes. Sixes are devastating. Yeah. It's not a win. Bing. But that's fine. It bounces off. But so it's trace around. Now everyone else knows what to shoot at. <laughs> and then I will do the two armagers all in one go. Okay, yeah, because I doubt, I doubt one would kill it by itself. Uh, and, and obviously they've got the exact same price. So, so I'm getting cover from both of them, but now they're AP2. They're AP2, so... So it'll be three up saves. I'll feel there. a bit better gambling against a three than a two. Than a two up, yeah, yeah sure. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything. You carry on. All right, so getting you on threes. But obviously, with the new renewed um, Layla the Tyrants, I get to re-roll two... Well, one, well, one dice for each, yeah. It's yeah. just as easy as to do it all in one go, isn't it? So no, I still drop one. And what's the strength of these auto cannon things? These, are, I believe, actually, it increases. 
Yeah, because they're normally strength nine. Strength nine into ten. So, so you're really on fours now. Yeah, so you're wounding better and then I'm saving worse. It's not a bad thing. And as they go through, they are three damage apiece. Well, two damage. Oh, yeah, two. Okay. <laughs> I, I've only recently got a Redemptor and I'm used, not used to it being the only one with that. No, they're, they're, they're good. So you're wounding on fours. So there's, there's a few that have gone through there. Yeah, the extra shrimp helped because there's a couple of <coughs> a few Yeah, I was going to say, actually, that was... Seven. Oh, you can reel hits and wounds, can you? Yep. Just one or the other. Okay. Uh, so you got, what's that, eight in total? Eight. Eight three ups. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was that was not good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And that'll be two damage each, essentially. So I've got two wounds remaining. Come on, Warden. Come on, Warden. <laughs> So that, that was worth the... Uh, well, actually, they may also... That was worth the extra CP to do that. Because quite a lot of those saves were twos. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, as, having typically fighting custodies a lot, if you, anything to you can do to reduce that two up... It is worth doing, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so their oh. little stubbers are also in range. And yeah. also, funnily enough, they are like the only stubbers in the game... That actually start with minus one AP. So they go into minus two AP. They are. Because whereas I think most marine vehicles, any stubbers, are always AP zero. Hmm. Okay. Well, mm, mm, mm. what's the strength for these stubbers? These are foot strength four, so. Oh, these right. will only be six. You really want to. Okay, carry on. Then. And I've already used my reroll, so you can only do it for one once per. Uh, yeah, they will, both knights have already used their reroll. Yeah, sure. So you hit on freeze. Lovely, and then you're winning on sixes. Uh, one. one. So these are AP what? So would be AP two down to minus one because of colour. So three. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Right. So that's the little ones done. I mean, you, you've annoyed the dreadnought. I think that's fair to say. Well, he's bracketed, so he'll be hitting on fours. I mean, he's bracketed at the moment, but there's a temporary next to him. So you know, don't count your chickens just yet. <laughs> well, and then, well, I say everything. It'll be just the Gatling cannon and the Storm Spear missile pod because the Flamer and uh, Melter are nowhere near. <laughs> right. So, what's the AP with the Gatling gun and the rockets and things like that? So, the Gatling gun is minus two. Okay. Turn down to minus one, but they are two damage apiece, and I get eighteen shots. It is strength six, but I'm going for sheer. Volume. Does it have devastating wounds? Only against infantry. Okay, and what about the rockets? The rocket is um, hitting you on freeze. It's three shots, strength eight, minus two, d6 damage. So AP two things being three up saves, but many shots. Uh, things I wasn't, didn't really want to spend this AP on armor of contempt, you see. But I wasn't expecting to roll that many twos. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, I wanted to keep my CP to teleport and drop something in your deployment zone because you sort of ran away from your deployment zone. But I think I'm going to have to armor of contempt now, so I'll yeah. do that. And in which case, I will invoke. Your Clidius thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah so sure. obviously you get to you this turn it's one CP because it Go, going forwards after. it'll be two CP. Yeah. Cool. Okay, well at least I'll need to get my two up saves, which is lovely. Right, so nine shots. If I knew the Hellwinds would do that many wounds. I, 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 I completely I did completely forgot they increased the strength, which the four... Oh no, it wasn't the strength, it was the fact that lots of my saves were twos. Yeah. I wasn't oh, expecting but, but, that. but even then the amount of four up wounds. I, I hit. Winning on fours, yeah, you got yeah. a couple of extra wounds, true. So anyway. Hit you on freeze. This is the, the Gatling gun, yeah? I will not be using the reroll here. I'm going to save that for the. It, what, probably what? easier to hit uh, missile pod. Probably should have done that first, then, if that's what you want the rerolls for. But never mind. Yeah, you never know. So, so this is wounding on. Fives and sixes because it's six into ten. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, three, but the two ups because I've done a more content. Lovely. All it takes is a one. Well, it's damage two, I reduce damage, right? So I need to find okay, two. Okay, I just need two ones. So I'm fine. And then you've got your missile thing. Yeah, and... missile pod, which is three shots hitting you on freeze. Yep, go on then. All hit. All hit, very nice. And, and then this is really on five. Eight, so yeah, fives and sixes. Uh, none. You got your reroll. Yeah. There you go. And that, that, that's it, is it? 
Did you not have a heavy stunner as well, or is it a melter gun? No, that's a melter. It's a melter gun. So that's all your shooting done, is it? Yes. And then that is your turn, I guess. But I'll, I'll let you measure just in case there is something else. Oh. Right, so after Imperial Knight's turn one, you scored a whole zero points. Uh, moving on to Death Watch turn one. <laughs> um, got Stormhearth style objective and bring it down. So essentially, run on that objective and kill that knight. And I'll get many points, basically. So of course, he is the Oath of the Moment. Okay. Kill that knight. Put an Oath of Moment on a small knight as opposed to a big one is controversial, I guess. Well, no, but uh, if I kill him, it is many points. Uh, from, from what I was just learning knights and playing knights players, you want to kill the small knights first. Well, they're the ones that run around doing things and being a nuisance. Right. Well, and they're all OC8, so you, you need to get rid of them because they've got very high OC. Yes, knights do have a lot of OC. Uh, so, yeah, so kill him. He's here for a moment. My eliminators will just run onto the objective. They're only OC1 each, but if I kill the knight, that's my objective. Yeah, well, job's, three, up, job's three done. Three beats zero. Exactly, exactly. Um, I've healed my Redemptor a couple of wounds. He's up to four, but he's still bracketed. But Tetrin gave him plus one of wounds. So he's just back and hitting on freeze, basically, but fine. They've both shuffled up. A little bit. They're both getting cover from different angles and things. They they should be okay for a while. Intercessor shuffled up slightly closer behind the ruin because the Spectrus kill team that was there disappeared at the end of your turn. Yep. They're in reserves, but reserves can't come in turn one. Terminators shuffled around very slightly to the right to get their Cyclones in range, line of sight and things like that. And then on this side, there was very little shuffling going on as well, just to make sure I'm hidden, basically. I could have chucked some assault marines there, but they'll just die, so what's the point? Uh, <laughs> they can be there to trade or school secondaries or something next turn, if they need to. Uh, and I went for army-wide lethal hits this turn, because I've got lots of cyclones, and I've got lots of big guns aiming at knights, basically. Indeed. So let's let's look for some... Lovely sixes. So, your Ofer moment was here. Ofer moment is the little one, yes. So I will start off the shooting phase. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think I did it on camera. The lieutenant's objective is the central one for my reroll, win rolls of one nonsense thing. But you've avoided that, avoided that objective so far, so fine. Uh, but anyway, let's kick things off with the front redemptor shooting everything at that night. Right, so let's kick things off with the supercharging supercharging macro plasma for D6 plus one shots. Five, lovely. And so we're hitting on threes, re-rolling. Sixes will be lethal. There's a couple of sixes. And re-roll that one. No. So I've got two wounds already, and it's from nine, so winning on fives. So normal overcharging or normal? Supercharging from nine. Right. So your toughness is ten? Ten, yeah. Yeah, so fives. So there's another one. So three wounds, AP4, but of course you have your knight invulnerable save of five up. Five up, which is only applicable to shooting. Yes, which is a shame, isn't it? But you made one, so that's six damage, but you got feel no pains. Yeah, so say that's six damage for now, but... It might be less. And it's not less, that is six damage. Okay, so we've got damage, six we've wounds got six left. left. So you start on 12, don't you, I think. Uh, so hazardous check, very quickly. He's fine, only just. I'd be rather happy then. Well, luckily he's got four wins now. <laughs> uh, rocket pod for D3, which will be two shots. It will hit on threes. And it will wound on fives. That's, I don't know what that is. Nope, that does nothing. And then I've got two Storm Bolter shots. Uh, I might as well re-roll to try and get some lethal hits. There's one. There we go. One free up save. And you made that. Okay, so he's down to six wounds after Dreadnought Numero Uno. Let's rinse and repeat with Dreadnought Numero Dos. Actually, you tell you what, I'll tell you what I will do, just to be really annoying and cheeky. Yep, just had a, just had a, a brain fart, essentially. A couple of my snipers are actually in range of the Vindicare, but I'll save that for a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Dreadnought number two, rinse and repeat into your... Um, uh, Halverin. Yeah. Uh, so supercharging the plasma for D6 plus one. For five shots, or at least they're consistent today. Is that a good, good number of shots? It is. Uh, so this is really hitting on freeze. Sixes are lethal so and re-rolling for a moment. And then these are winning on fives. So just the one five plus invulnerable save. Nope. And that's three damage. So, three damage. so he's got three wounds remaining. He is bracketed. Hazardous. He's fine. Uh, rocket pod for one shot, which is lethal. So that's AP1, so you're fine. 
And then the Gatling Gun of Doom will go oh, yeah. and hopefully do some devastating wings. That's lovely. So, freeze. Uh, let's read all the misses. Nothing's it. Lovely. But so, winning on sixes, but they go straight through. Yeah. So, there's one. So, you do have so, a feel no pain. Can, can, my, can I get a six for your six? No. no. So, you've got two wounds remaining. And then I have the Storm Boltairs. And I'll reroll both of those because I'm going to look for lethal hits instead. No. So, I've got a hit, which will wound on a six, but it's twin linked. No. Okay, so that's him done. We've got two wounds remaining. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, for, no, no, for the armagers versus the big knights, the big knights lose OC when they're bracketed. The armagers do not. Yeah, that's yeah, all right. Well, you've got two wounds left. The has got a forge bolter. Let's damage two. Let's do that. You can just about see you. Yeah. You will be getting cover, so you will have your, your free up save. You, but... you, you, got, you got rather angry uh, by shooting them, so they, the dreadnoughts are holding him back. Yeah, <laughs> the dreadnoughts are holding the tech room back. Yeah, definitely. So he's hitting on twos. Rerolling for Oaf. Oh, a... uh, so what I will do is I'll fish for sixes for lethal hits. No, but they both hit. And then winning on sixes. So two. Two free ups, two damage each. Oh, you survived the Tech Marine's wrath for now. Right, so you've got two wounds remaining. I've got a unit of eliminators here with flat free damage weapons. So I could shoot them at the night, but instead I'm spending a CP on grenades before they start shooting, and then I can obviously just then decide what they're going to shoot at, because two of them are a range of Mr. Vindicare. So let's throw some grenades at you. I'm looking for fours, but also you do have six up through no pains. So if I get them, it doesn't necessarily mean you're dead. It just means you might be dead. Um, but there's three. So essentially you need at least two sixes from yeah. three dice. Nah. No. Boom. Do you, do you go boom? No. I don't think you rolled a single six for him. No. <laughs> but he, 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 he helped inflict a lot of damage. He did. He did He did damage my, one of my redemptors, the annoying thing. Um, right. So now two of them, the two sniper ones are actually in range of the Vindicare. The Balsa one isn't. So he's just going to shoot at the dude in front of him. Because why not? Well, um, but the Vindicare is stealth. Yeah. So I'm hitting on fours with the two sniper rifles. Yes. But six is also winged, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. So there's one or two. <laughs> and then strength five, your toughness is four, I'm assuming. Yes. So there's another one. And unfortunately, they move, so that's not devastating. But that is two, four plus invulnerable saves at three damage each. Oh, could have killed him. Could have killed him. Um, and the other one's just going to shoot the, the war dog in front of him, uh, which hits and doesn't, <laughs> doesn't wound. Okay. Well, I mean, they, they, they finished off your night. I'm happy with them. They did their job. Uh, which now means I've got six cyclone missiles shooting at the big one. for rotate ion shield. So well, they're only AP two. Oh, okay. And you will be getting cover because your things are, okay, so no, you, no, you'll no. be four up saves anyway. Is no, what, no, is no, what I'm saying. Say, I, I won't be doing that then. So you won't be doing that. Makes yeah. sense to me. Although I won't start with him actually because he gets rerolls. I don't want to cripple him and then he won't get rerolls. So I'll what's shoot him what's first. His, what's his AP? His last cans are AP three, which would put you on a five up. Well, if he's shooting over there, there's nothing else really being shot at night, so it's so better to, to so try would. and. Yeah, because I'll start with him, him because if they crippled him below half strength, then he won't get rerolls, basically. Yes. So I'll start with him. So let's start with these last cannons then. Yep. Hit on freeze, rerolling, six is lethal. Yep. So one hit so far. Two hits, and then your toughness they, is... They are straight, my toughness is... I want to say 12? If it's 12, it's fours. There's a wound, at least, on a five. Uh, yes, it is a 12. It's, cool. It's, the, it's the, the bigger knights that are 13. Yes, so that's AP3, but you've got Iron Shield, so four, what is four a, a four up. Let's no. go through. So that's D6 plus... Plus one. one for four damage. But you've got feel no pains. Try some of my blue dice, my black yeah. dice. <laughs> the other ones aren't rolling sixes. Uh, there's one. So three, so that's me down to 19 wounds. And then I've got two crack ballistic missiles, which again will hit on freeze. Six was really lethal. I'll re roll because he can. They both hit, no lethals, and these but are these only on fives. Ten, yeah. yeah. So you got one. just the one, so it'll be four up. And you make that one. Okay, so I've took three wounds off you so far. 
Right, okay. So you're down to, was it 19 wounds? 19 wounds, because I start off with 22. Lovely. Six crack cyclone missile launchers. Hitting on three, six is a lethal. No lethals. Damn it! <laughs> and then winning on fives. I'll take that though. That's three, oh, four, three, four ups. D6 damage each as well. Painful, potentially. Maybe. One of them might be. One. So one went through. Four damage. Four feel no pains. And yeah. level four wounds taken. See if, if I killed your warlord. Yeah. Uh, fine, man, so and then the four. Wounds. Yeah, so he's down to 15. Uh, and then I've got the Captain Storm Bolter who's in range. He'll hit on twos. One hit. I'll be most of a wound on a six. No. Right. Okay. I think that's probably my shooting done because nothing else is in range, line of sight, or anything else. What I will do, though, is they'll move after they shot because they can do that. They can. So essentially, I'm going to move block you because that's hilarious. Okay. Yes. So the Eliminator's moved and move blocked you a bit essentially and then that was the end of my turn so I scored nine points secondaries for Storm Hustle objective and bring it down uh, at the end of my turn you picked up your Caladius Assassin whatever she's called she's over here now she's over there now there so she is she's popped up back down there she's a little bit forward but she's given me engage all fronts on this end and yes it's risky but she will at least get to shoot at these guys and yeah. she's already done her ability to impact one of your strategies yeah and she's getting you an extra couple of points for engage because he wasn't able to get into this quarter because basically you had to run around the eliminators <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they've they're making their way around the uh the very small roadblock uh the vindicators ran away from the eliminators because clearly he was scared of them this big guy's coming stomping towards me because well he's a big scary knight as is that uh wall glaive there uh armage or whatever it's called and uh this one's moved forward as well He's got a sight of the backside of that ballistas. Yes, and also a toe, literally a toe, on the objective as well. Indeed. So that's good. So, um, yeah, where would you like to start your shooting phase? Oh, and of course you had uh, five primary for having your home objective because it was yep. sticky and things. So I'm going to use... Uh, let's do the Caladus into the... Intercessors with an anti-infantry pistol. which is Yes, D D6 shots. D6 shots. Five. Five. Oh, okay. And these auto... Because it's a torrent weapon. Okay, auto hit and it's anti infantry yeah. two up or something? Yeah, it's anti infantry. It's also precision, but unfortunately you, you've got no. Well, she's very precise at killing those intercessors. But it's only damage one, so. Oh, oh, oh we're killing some of them. Right, so twos. Uh, so four so, wounds. So What's the AP of this? AP one, so. Does it no, ignore... AP two, so it's down to, down to one, so four. Does it ignore cover? Uh, no, actually, it's torrent, so. Yeah, no, it, no. Doesn't ignore cover. No, so AP, what did you what did you say? AP what? It's AP two, so down to AP one. Yeah, so four ups. Killed an intercessor and a half. Oh, okay. How rude. Maybe the one with the hammer? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so that's her. Cool. Okay, so, well she got. And then he's in Okay. So he's gonna fire a thermal spear into which one's the injured one? The one at the front. I don't know, I'm not within Melter. Melter. You're not in Melter, not in melter Gun or Melter range. No, I, I, I'm in Thermal Spear range, so it doesn't matter. So I'll shoot the front one and then the small Melter Gun into... Into an Eliminator's face. Eliminator's. Or back, in this case. Okay, what are you going to start with? Start with the Thermal Spear, because that's the one I need to hit. Yep, into the Redentor, go for it. Uh, so both okay. hit, very nice. 12 into 10, and so freeze. freeze. And you get a reroll for wounds. So what's the AP of this? Four on the gets, I'm assuming. I think yes, I believe these are four. I roll some dice. They both failed as, as long as it's more than AP rubbish. Yeah, it's like there's AP four. Yep, yeah, cool. So I'm getting covered so it's AP three, but either way they both failed. What's the damage? D six. Okay, so two D six damage but minus one to both of these. So unless you roll rubbish, it's a dead dreadnought. So that becomes three, that becomes two, it's a dead dreadnought. Does he go boom? Does he go boom boom? No he doesn't. <sighs> and Mr. Tetmarine is now super duper angry. I really want him to go boom. No. No, we don't want that. Okay. And right, then no. and then a melt gun eliminated, but minus one hits their stuff. But it hits anyway, and it'll wound on a two, because it's a melter gun. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I, needed that. I wouldn't get a save that's one dead basically because uh, that's definitely a melter range oh yes so I'll kill that one that's not on the objective and then 
<clears throat> Although saying that, you, you're out of seeing me on that objective anyway, aren't you? Yeah, I was always, so, always, but, always open. But whatever. Right, what's next? Right, thermal sphere. Into that we don't do. So it's AP4, you said? Yes. Um, cover, so it'd be AP3, 5 up. Uh, yeah, go for it. Both hit. Both hit, very nice. We freeze. freeze. You've got a re-roll if you want it. Of course you do. There we go. So AP4, but cover. So 5 up saves. There's one. Eight, one. Damage, D6. And I'll reduce one of that. So okay. two. So ten wounds remaining. And then... Melt will go into an eliminator because it's all from range. So this will hit my four. And it hits. Wounds. And it'll kill my two. So yeah, I think I've still got my wound re-roll. Don't, don't need it. That's another eliminator. Uh, but it's alright. They did their job. They That unit of eliminator has got me nine points. Not bad for a 75 point unit. <laughs> oh! So you can't really really can't you? No, not really. So, that, oh. that, so that's those guys shot. What's next? You do have a big stompy dreadnought. He is within melter range. Oh, for the, melter, for the melter gun. Yes, he is. Yes, yes. for the, the little nipple gun. Yes, yeah, so what's he shooting at? He is going to shoot... A lot of things. Um... I'll let you have a think. Okay, you've had a, a mass debate as to where to shoot his yeah. guns and things. Basically, you're putting the melter gun and the flamer and the rockets into the Redemptor. Yeah, and then a, the big cannon into the... Big Gatling gun into the Terminators. I've used the captain ability to give them armour contempt for free, but because it's now one CP because of her, I've had to spend a CP to do it. But that's fine, because now your AP2 gets countered by armour contempt and a bit of cover. So, keeping them safe, basically. You're starting with the Gatling gun into them, hitting on trees. So hitting on trees. So there's some hits and some misses. Um, did you want to do a did you want to do a re-roll for the Gatling gun? No, I think I'm gonna save, save it to try and for your anti-tank out. weaponry. Cool. Yeah. And then this is strength six. Six. So you're really on three. Yeah. Sixes are devastating. Sixes go straight through. So you got three that are devastating. Very nice. Put them to one side, and then you've got five. Five armor saves. Um, yeah. Right. So two up because they're not mortal wounds anymore. So there's no order in terms of okay. uh, I can do it in whatever order I want. So I'll do the armor saves first. So two up. That's two damage. Right. Okay. I'll put that on the shield guy who's behind cover. So he dies, and then you got three devastating wounds, which are six, which are two damage a piece. Which are two damage a piece, right? So I can kill the other hammer guy, and then two, and put two wounds on just one. Two wounds on a cyclone dude, like that. Lovely. Well, that yes, you've still got the chain fist, so that removes the it removes the, the hammers. Memory. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, power fists are better than thunder hammers because I'm hitting on freeze. Ah, uh, but all, all you need is that one one good hit for the devastating. Yeah, but things you don't get in model saves in combat anyway, really, so it doesn't make a massive difference. But uh, it, does, it does get rid of my unit's ablative wounds of the hammer and shield dudes. Right, so what are you doing next? Right, we'll start with the storm spear. Into there. Okay, cool. So then you're on freeze. Very nice. All hits. All hits. Except for this. Eight, so fives so and sixes. Fives. Yeah. And you haven't done a reroll to wound yet. Now you have AP. Minus two, but down to one because of cover. Yeah, so freeze. Huzzah. Nine. And then you've got a melter gun shot, which hits, and hits. a wound on a five. No. Because then... this is a, I can't like everything else, this is only a strength nine. And then you said you had a flamer or something? Yes, I've got, I got a heavy flamer. You never know. That's Ooh, six. You might, might burn a few trees down. I don't know if you'll hurt the dreadnought, but you'll burn some trees. <laughs> burn the shrubbery. And this would be strength so, five, I'm assuming. So yeah, so sixes. Sixes, yeah. But AP not, one ignore, ignore ignore cover. cover. Yeah. That's what I like flamers now, they ignore cover, which is nice, because there's, there's lots of cover in 10th edition, which is simplified but not simple. Yes. Um, so that heavy flamer does burn a little bit off my Redemptor and angers the tech marine even further. That tech marine's going to be so angry in a minute. <laughs> Shot. You got your Vindicator hasn't shot yet. I don't know what he wants to shoot at though. Oh, yeah, I guess the Vindicator. I'll shoot the. Let's, let's try and shoot the last Eliminator so, on a free because he moved and I'm stealth. Oh, 
Yeah, she was. So, no so he's missed. Ha! Take that, Mr. Vindicare. You're not the best sniper on the board. <laughs> oh, don't forget, they missed as well. Well, no, they blew up a, uh, a knight. They didn't miss with their grenades, did they? Yeah, the grenades aren't snipers. Well, yeah. Anyway, so we've got some guns on this side of the board. Well, um, I think he's got... You can see the oh, the Halverin might be able to see a, a Terminator. Toe. Yes. The toe, the toe, the I'll be toe. getting to it, say, because of cover and armor of contempt, but you can see them. Yeah, well. He's probably got the, the nothing else thing, much to shoot at. The only other thing I can shoot at is him. He's also got I'll a two be, I'll be wounding him on fives and sixes, whereas I'm wounding them on oh. twos. Uh, freeze. Strength for nine, toughness five. Oh, there's toughness five. Terminator is, yeah. Terminator's toughness five now before Pinfile. Tenth edition. No, don't. 9th edition, they were rubbish. 10th edition, they're good. <laughs> I thought they were like. Used to be tough Oh, no, sport. I get confused. It's because they're softer than the aggressors, which makes no sense. Well, aggressors are toughness 6, six. but don't get a top save and yeah. a vulnerable save. So, but yeah. Anyway, so you're auto cannoning the Terminators. Yes. Right, off you go, hitting on freeze. And, ooh, very accurate at least. Pleasant. He's winning on freeze. And you'll have a reroll if you want it. There you go. If you roll that, you win all the times, though. You win it all the times. So how many was that? That was eight. Eight two-plus saves. I'm absolutely fine. Got another Terminator plate. And then, right. and then you got a few shots with a stubber, I'm guessing. Which, again, hits every time. What's the strength for your stubber? Five. Is it four or five? I think four. Uh, well, those sixes wound. Well, let me double check. I'll make I'll make two I, saves. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's four. I'll make yeah, two of the false. saves. Yeah, cool. Okay, so he shot, didn't do much, but at least he made some loud banging noises. And then Rex is going to fire. That's the ballistas. Everything into the ballistas. And then I guess you can decide whether he should, goes for the ballistas or for the redemptor. I'm guessing. Yeah. Because that's literally the only things he can shoot. So okay. he he will be doing the the heavy. Um, he's in closer range to do the good shot now. Yeah, so yeah. okay. D6 shots. Very nice. What's that? Two. Oh. You do have a command point. Yeah, I have a command point reroll that one. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. At least you're hitting on the two, right? Yeah, hang on two. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, T Rexes are extinct. Yeah. But it's all right, he's got small arms. Yeah. He's a T Rex. Is is the multi laser? Multi laser. So one. Is that sustained because yeah, of thing? Comes yeah. Back in. And then strength six. Six. So and fives. One AP. No AP. Yeah. Typical good old multi laser bounces off. Oh, well, I was expecting a bit more from him there. To be honest, I imagine you were as well. I was. Hoping yes. For a <laughs> All right. Well, then he's got some decisions to make, yeah, hasn't so he? He's going to shoot. He's going to he's going to show him how it's done. But I don't think he's in... I don't think range. the melter gun's in range, no. Because you're out of range from the infiltrators. Yeah. So just the two shots with the spear. Luckily you've got a reroll. Uh, ah. Well, the shooting here was effective. Yeah. Not so much over there. Kind of it all, I guess. Is that the end of your shooting phase? I guess it is, isn't it? Unfortunately. But I guess for charging, I will just be doing... I mean, that eliminator's dead, isn't he? Let's be honest. In there. And him there. Yeah, because he's got the 11 into the Redemptor, hasn't he? Do you want to try and see if you get that first? Yeah. Why not? And he double sixes. No, ah, not I got that. halfway there. And then these guys, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to try and charge both of them in, or maybe just one of them? Nah. Um, well, I suppose if one fails, then you can charge the other one, can't you, I guess? Yeah, so I'll start with the... The one that's off the one. objective. Yeah. He'll make it. I think he should be able to do it by himself. And then... So, and then she's going to nine inch charge into these guys. Yeah, she's going to try and finish them off. Oh, well, she's she made, made it. it. There we go. And I think she does have some anti, yeah, anti infantry stuff again. She, she might be quite good at chopping up intercessors. Okay, so that's the charges. Where would you like to start? You'll have a chop up mauling a poor eliminator. Unfortunately, stealth isn't going to help him in combat. Yeah. Well, um, I, I guess we'll, we'll start there because you've got no interrupts. No, I mean I can I can interrupt you talking, but not in dice yeah. rolling. Um, but yeah, um, his, his cloak won't save him, but it might get clogged up in your chainsaw or something. Who knows? Yeah, so I'll just do the sweep, just for just, consistency, just for lols. But I, <laughs> I also get um, sustained. 
on the charge. Yes, they do. They're quite good. These uh, little uh, war dogs, war glaives, armages, whatever they are. Okay, your in combat. Uh, oh, you can re-roll a hit though, can't you? Yes, I can. Just as well. And that's why I do the... Did the sweep, because if you did the strike, you might have missed all of them. <laughs> and then these will be on twos, because it's, it's a strength eight sweep. Yeah, they're good. And you can re-roll a one. Lovely. Four. AP though? Uh, AP minus two. The sweep's AP two as well. Yeah. That's quite good, isn't it? Uh, what's it? No, I'm not. One, one damage piece. Oh, you almost saved him, but not... Yeah, bad. I was going to say, I... Only I, just got him. <laughs> I, I find, despite the meta, the melee profile, I've always found them rather underwhelming. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to Mrs. Oh, no, Miss, she, whatever her name is. She doesn't have anti, but she's got five attacks. I'm assuming hitting on twos because she's an assassin. Twos. Nice. Uh, and lethal. Nice. Okay. So twos to hit, sixes go straight I have through. Six there. That's not the right number. Let's see how and she does. Hitting you on twos anyway. So you've got a lethal, and everything else is hit. And then what's the strength for this? Five. Cool, so freeze to wound. Uh, all wounds, lovely. Um, a a piece. four. So I'm going to get any saves. Damage? Two. Oh, well, she's so that's just not dead. Oh dear. I will be picking up the Thunder Hammer now. Because they're dead. See? Yeah, she's doing alright, isn't she? To everyone watching, sometimes doing something silly and reckless pays off. Well, she's got you an extra couple of points for engage, and she's... Deleted a unit which could have potentially scored points for me. So. And you're going to have to... You had to go out of your way to deal with her. Eh, eh, kind of. Well, because you, you can't... You either go that way or you either go this way. I'll just send the angry tech brain after her. He'll sort her out. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so that's the end of your turn. You scored three... No, uh, five points for engage. Oh, is yeah. it five points if you get all four quarters? Because uh, you're going to do them fixed, no, aren't you? I think it's four. It's four for all four corners. Yes, because you're not doing tactical. So you're getting four corners and haven't got assassinate yet. Yes. <laughs> so I, I, I'm getting closer. You get, you're definitely getting closer as we move into Death Watch, turn two. Right, so at the end of the Imperial Knights turn, you're, you're on nine points now uh, with your engage. And then at the start of my turn, I had five points here on just the one objective, which puts me up to 14. So it's 14 to nine. Uh, my secondary is this turn, no prisoners engaging on front. So kill things and spread out. Apparently we both want, we both want to uh, spread out, apparently. Uh, Death Watch is quite good at spreading out because teleport shenanigans and things. Um, so what am I doing this turn? I'm doing my once per game army-wide sustained hits because that's lovely. Everyone loves a bit of a sustained firepower. Um, and then I've popped my once per game uh, Tome of Ectoclades to essentially pick two open moment targets and real hits and wounds against both. I'm picking that big one and that big one, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Let's delete both of them and if I've got firepower left over to kill other things, then fantastic. So this is make or break, really, essentially this turn. Uh, Ballista stayed where he is. He's kind of safe where he is and he's got good lines of fire where he is. He can see pretty much everything he wants to shoot at. Little Lieutenant Man has just ran in front of him because he's hiding around the ruin then. Well, the assault marines have ran onto that objective because hopefully he'll die and then they'll be on the objective for me. Well, That's the plan there. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, so then what else has happened? Infiltrators stayed where they are. Terminators moved into the ruins so they can shoot out of it and then potentially charge. Captain can reroll charges, so that's that. Redemptive Dreadnought got buffed by the Tech Marine, healed just a single wound, but that's fine. He's going to go after the big one, shoot, charge, do all the lovely things, maybe even a tank shock. Uh, Tetmarine, however, has run off this way to get some revenge against the Caladius. He's very angry. He's getting many attacks at many strength AP and damage at the moment. So I they... would have totally have overwatched if I wasn't needing my rotate ion shields, which I have done on Rex. Yes, because I will definitely be shooting him in a minute. You'll see why in a minute, people, when I show you what else I've got. So he's going over there, and then for reserves and things, Spectra's kill team will just pop back on just to lend a bit of extra bolt of fire into her, basically, just to ensure she does die. Because she is very good at getting you engaged. So let's get rid of her. Eradicators have come on here. They can see him and shoot that. So again, options for the Eradicators. I've got lots of redundancy, basically. Because on this flank, I dropped all the Hellblasters. And they've deep striked inside a ruin. I don't know how they managed it, but they have. Um, maybe, well, they just, maybe they just ran on from behind you. Who knows? But they've gone there. They're going to delete him. And then if, as long as they survive, they can then start dealing with other things like him. So they're going to try and kill him. If not, the Blissus will hopefully finish him off. 
And then I've got, you know, I mean, I've got cyclones. I've got lots of things that can kill him. I've got lots of things that can kill him. And then whatever's left, left will go into this chat, basically. Poor guy. And then, and then I've got charges, charges, it's charges. Lot can be lots of charges in shooting this turn. So I will start off with the Hell Blasters, supercharging and putting everything into Rex. So and twenty you... shots inbound. Yes, twenty with... shots that will become. About 30. Well, probably about 25, because lethal hits, sustained hits, four rerolls for hits and wounds. It's And I've got the heavy bolt pistol as well. Let's not forget that. With lethal hits, that could be a thing from the lieutenant. Yeah. Um, so let's put everything into the T-Rex and see what happens. Right, okay. So yes, 20 supercharged plasma shots into T-Rex. Here we go. Hit and freeze. And I've got four rerolls on things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up everything that's not a six. I didn't get any sixes anyway, so I'm just going to pick up everything. So if you're running Gladius, you would devastate it because you're on fives. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have been able to drop in outside that ruin, you see. So I wouldn't have been able to deep strike. Yeah, you I can't would have pick... to wait an extra turn. No. Right, let's re-roll everything because I didn't get any sixes. I want some sixes. That's not Six brilliant, more. to be honest. Oh my god, I've only got one. That's crazy. Okay. This isn't going to be as effective as I thought it was going to be. They're going to whiff a bit today. But they can always end up killing themselves, in which case they get to do it again. Well, that's sustained, so at least they're getting everyone back in. And then I'm winning on fives, but re-rolling. Oh, the wound rolls are looking a bit better. So that's the wound so far. And then re-rolling those. So another three. So that's nine. Only nine. Nine four-ups. Because of rotating ion shields. Kind of in the funniest world when you do your hazard test i want you to pass them, pass them for i want half the unit to die <laughs> so oh dear that wasn't the best four invulnerable saves you've failed seven that's 14 wounds sir but yeah but you do have you feel no pains so roll this number twice basically so you've passed one so far and two so you haven't taken 14 wounds you've taken 12 which is what, roughly half his wounds? Uh, just over, so I'm on 10 wounds. 10 wounds remaining. Okay, I'll shoot the heavy bolt pistol while well, you, you figure that out. Yeah. He goes bang, and he misses, but I'll re-roll it. Oh, uh, actually, no, he hits some twos, but I was looking for a lethal no. sustained. But anyway, reading on a six, re-rolling. No, okay, right. How's this checks? Ones, please, give me some. That's better than my first roll for it's shooting. Single, single one. But one of them might die. So and he might free up? And he might shoot you back on a free. Yeah, he he does. He'll supercharge and then shoot you again. On threes. Uh, yeah, I'll re-roll. I'll re-roll re the hits. No, no sixes, but and then winning on fives. But re-rolling. Nothing. Okay. But one of them's died. Fine. And you've got ten wins left? Ten wins. Okay. Right, okay, moving on to the uh, Assault Squad dudes. I'm going to put some bolt pistols and a supercharged plasma pistol into you. So these are the bolt pistols. And I'm rewalling everything. They fit every time. Lovely. So they do not have a lethal. Unfortunately not, no, but they do have sustain, sustain, so I didn't get any. But winning on sixes, but I'm still rerolling everything, which is nice. These are heavy bolt pistols for AP1. Uh, one. Tickle the wound off you, but you got a shrug. There you go, tickle the wound off you. Yep. Supercharged plasma pistol. Sustained, brilliant. <laughs> Wins on fives, <laughs> but re rolls. Uh, one four pinball from the plasma pistol. No. Two damage. That's another two wounds. So you're down to seven? Yes. And then hazardous check on the plasma pistol. He's fine. Okay, he did a little bit of damage. Okay. Um, right, now the question is do I shoot Mr. Ballistas at you or the cyclone missiles? Hmm. Right, coming across to here for a moment. Spectra's kill team shooting her, hitting on freeze, because she hasn't got stealth, apparently. Uh, some misses, but I've also got three sustained hits. Lovely. Uh, these are going to weed you on fours. And you'll have three four-plus invulnerable saves. Because that's all she's got, isn't it? Because she's got a stealth suit, which hasn't got stealth, apparently. So she loses two wounds. Does that mean she's got two left? Yep, she's on two. Cool, right. Forge bolster from the tech marine on twos. That's sustained. Lovely. Weeding on threes. And that is two more four plus invulnerable saves at two damage. Get forge bolted to the face. And now she's dead. Lovely. 
That's fine. She did what she needed to. That's a unit for no prisoners as well, which is very nice. Okay. Right, moving on. Let's put everything from Mr. Redemptor Man into the big dreadnought in front of him, and I will be supercharging that plasma. With, with an exploding your face, come on. With an exploding my face, no. D6 plus one shots. For three shots. Mm, no, I need that CP for other things. Hitting on twos. And I've got four rerolls against this chap. Because of my Tome of Eticlades thing. No sustained. And I'm going to read on fives, but I'm rerolling. He's my second unit. Nothing from the plasma. Yeah. Hazardous? No. Right, Gatling Gunner Doom. Yeah. Six shots. Oh, it's eight. Eight shots on twos. And I'm going to reel Ethinx for once the same hits. That's better. That's there we go. Three. Three. Lovely. And then I'm looking for devastating wounds, basically, because it's sixes to wound you, isn't it? Yes. So I'm looking for sixes. I think it's not a six. I'm going to roll again because I'm re-rolling everything. So not three. not three wounds off of him. That's not, that's nice. That makes up for the terrible plasma. But you do have no pains, which unfortunately don't work. So he's down to 12 wounds remaining. And then I'll put a heavy flamer into you just for good measure. Not heavy flamer. What's he got? Rocket, rocket pod. That's the one. One shot. Which hits... hits. And it doesn't win, but I can re-roll. And doesn't do anything. And then I've got a Storm Belter in the nipples. On twos. Re-rolling. And then sixes. Re-rolling. Re re three. Three free outs from Storm Bolters. Storm Bolters for the win, everybody. There's two wins. Two. Feel no pains. There you go. One. Storm Bolters did more damage than the plasma. <laughs> Right, coming back over to T-Rex Man. Cyclone Missile Terminators and all the Storm Bolt was in the T-Rex Man. Uh, so let's start off with some six crack rockets. I love crack. It's lovely. Still two shots each. It's better than frags. Oh, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? And six rockets. Uh, so hitting on freeze. Six is explode. And I've got four reels. So let's re-roll those. This one's. That's annoying. Uh, winning on fives. But four reels. Two. Still only two. So two four ups. And both go through. D6 damage each. Yeah, that's ten. Oh, he's got seven wounds left. Can you make some feel no pain, sir? Yes, no, fives. maybe. We'll find out. Make one. That's one so far. Uh, so you make, make two, two out of the ten, but it's eight wounds. He's dead. Does he go boom, boom? No, thank God for that, because you could have killed a bunch of assault rounds. <laughs> right, okay. But so, you don't score how many points for him? I do, uh, I do, I do for no prisoners. No, because he's not dead. Oh, because he's the same data sheet, isn't he? Yeah. All right, well, he can get jumped on by the assault marines in a minute, that's fine. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's what you think, so... Because he gets out with him free, I'm assuming, because he I, disembarks. I so. yeah. Yeah, okay. No, I may or may not charge him. But, yeah, okay. I mean, the, I was a bit annoyed with the plasma not doing what it should have done against him, but I think I'm still going to be okay. So, what I'm going to do now is... That annoying person's annoying, but fine. Um, eradicators are going to go into the... Hmm. No, I'm going to put the ballistas, I think, into the big one. All right. So everything into the big one? Or? From the ballistas oh. into the big one, yes. So starting off with the last cannons on freeze, but re-rolling. Because he's, he's, he's my other Tome of Eticlades target thing. So he's hit twice. He's going to wound on fours, but re-rolling. Two. Uh, 83, so these will be on your five ups. So one goes through. D6 plus one. For six damage. Six feel no pains. Uh, so he's on five wounds remaining. And then I've got my crack rockets. I love crack. Did I mention that? I know a really good guy. Oh, uh, my rolling <laughs> hit it on freeze. <laughs> Re-rolling. Well, it doesn't help. Sustained. It doesn't help when I'm making you make a billion saves yeah. either, does it? Uh, this is winning on fives, though. But re-rolling. So that's one AP2. There's cover there. So four up. Oops. Try again. You do make that one. Okay, so he's got five wounds left. I reckon I can have him in the charge now with a Redemptor, to be honest. 
with either the fisting or the tank shock. I should have it. Yes, you make it. Well, I've got CP, so... Yeah, ain't used. <laughs> it's not guaranteed, but he's pretty close. So I'm going to leave him now, and then I'm going to shoot three eradicators at him. Because they get free. They're okay. all in range. I get some cover. I mean, it's AP4, it's going to be your invol anyway. That's right. <laughs> I'm not and they get full rerolls anyway. That's why, yeah. they That's why they don't need to shoot the other guy. That's why I'm saving this for last, you see. So freeze to hit, rerolling, sixes will explode. So get one explode. See, they always get more more hits than shots. It's but still lovely. But there's still nine to there's, ten. So five, six, there's still strength for rubbish, but I'm re-rolling. Yeah. You got one? Only one. Okay, well, one invulnerable save. Just... AP4. Uh, are they all using the same one, or does one have the Yeah, they've all, they've all got metal rifles. Oh, no, one goes wrong. Because that's what they're modelled with. Uh, D6 damage. Which I can re-roll, because that was rubbish. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I did what now, you did earlier. Now, so. you, now you know how I felt. Well, one feel no pain. There we go. I mean, even if it was two damage, I wouldn't have killed you. So, uh, fine. So just one yeah, one Damagio, so he's on 11. Okay. And I've got a few bolt gun shots, and then that will be it for my shooting phase. So I'll do a few bolt gun shots off camera, because they're not going to do much. Right, moving into the charge phase. It's a four inch charge with a redemptor, and I've got a CP in my pocket. I mean, it's not in my pocket, it's there. But... You'll be in there. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Oh, oh, yeah, he's definitely angry. Uh, now, the question is do I or do I not tank shot? Because I have to declare it after I've charged, you see. Uh, I'm hitting you on twos, which is the same hits and four rerolls, and you don't get an invulnerable saving combat. So you'll be getting five up saves, three damage each. <laughs> I think you're probably dead. I'm going to keep my CP. Risky, but I think the four reels hit on twos. I think I've probably got it. Um, captain is unit into him. That's a six inch rerollable charge because Captain, lucky he allows them to reroll charges. Still, they still don't want to charge. Okay, that's annoying. And these guys have got an eight into your boyo. Uh, and I'm not going to spend the CP on that. So that's fine. Yeah. Do I? No. Right. Okay. So, cool. Right. So just then. Let's smack him. So five attacks. Hit on twos. Got four reels and sustained hit still. Yep. So two. So I'll reel that. There you go. I've hit you seven times. That's lovely. What's the strength? Strength 12. So I'm winning on fours, but re rolling. So that is, somehow I've managed to wound you more times than I have attacks. Uh, six, five ups, three damage each. I mean, it's possible. You could do it. You gave it a very good try. <laughs> so that's three damage each, though. So that's nine feel no pains with five wounds remaining. I mean, again, it's doable. Uh, so that's two gone through so far. So you're down to three. And then you're dead, and you have three more feel no pains to go. Yeah. Do you go boom, boom. No, okay, right. So he's dead, that's good, that's lovely. I'm not in range to consolidate onto the objective, I don't think. Um, and I've killed one, two. No, I haven't killed him, because technically he's the same data sheet. So I've only killed two units, but no prisoners is a thing, that's fine. So I'll work out my points and things, and then we'll be back for Knight's turn three. Okay, so at the end of the Death Watch turn, I scored some points on secondaries for no prisoners and let's see what I had engaged, wasn't it? Yes, so I got seven secondary points, but we got to 21. And at the start of the Imperial Knights turn three, you had your home objective and this one here for 10 primary points, putting you up to 19. So I'm, I'm two points ahead, but you have got many knights right in my face. And I brought on my and you brought, here too. And you brought on the other one. The idea being to push on up so you've got quite a strong left flank now because you've also got the Helver at the back there and the Vindicator. You've got lots yeah. of stuff over there and all you've got over here is one little lone armager running around and Mr. Rex Man. So I will so. now be using Vindicari's special bullet on your warlord. The Capitan. Okay, right. So, so let, let's start with that then. This ignores all saves. The only thing he doesn't ignore is feel no pains, but you don't have any. He doesn't have any, no. So I'm not going to bother doing armor of contempt because, well, it's not going to help him. I mean, you can use the CP if you want. I'm, no. I'll, I'll, I'll happily accept it. I'm, 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 I'm good, thanks. So you're hitting on a two. You've hit. So it's a good start. Not a critical hit, though, so that's, that's Seven. good. Seven, so I'm hitting you on freeze. Winning on freeze, yes. 
It's not anti-infantry or anything, is it? No. No. So it's he's, he's just got devastating. Wounding on a three. There you go. Wounds. Wounds. Ignores cover. Minus three. So on your invuln. Well, a special bullet, isn't it? So I don't oh, get yeah, any no, saves. Just, oh, I'm, I'm so used to this thing. So, so the damage normally is... It's D3 plus 3. D3 so plus 3. He he's got 6. So if you so get, get a 5 or 6, six he's dead. Yeah. No, so 4 wounds. He's down to 2. Unless you want it, I mean, you could CP reward damage. Uh, yeah, is it well, worth it? Because it gets you many, it gives me, yeah, gets it, you it loads of CP you. and field of pains and all the rest of it, right? It's worth a go. Makes there you it. go, you did it. There you go. Bang! Boom! So, instead of taking this down to zero, this will go up to three. I would have liked to have had this with my big knights. Yeah, that would have been nice. But yeah, you go, you kill my warlord, so you, you got you got a five at Fono Pain now. Very nice. But I don't mind. He's already done his Tome of Ed play these things. It's not yeah. a big deal. I can't get on my contempt for ACP on those Terminators now, or your old charges, but fine. Good it's shot, fine. Mr. Vindicare. Everyone's died after they've done their job, so he'll probably die very soon. Yes, well, maybe. So he's going to shoot his little melter, <coughs> little melter here. Yeah. And f- You're thinking about Thermal Spear and the Dreadnought in the back, are you? Actually, I'm, I'm going to hold off on his, actually, a second. I'm going to do him. Who I think he's got? Yeah. He's in melt range for the big gun, but he's not in melt range for the melter gun. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, he's in twelve. Yeah, but as in melter melter range would be oh. six six for the small. So no, gun. no, he, he he's in he's not in melter range for the me- little melter, but he's in melter. He range is for, for the, the big one. Yes. Yeah. So I thought we'll going into. Yeah. So he's putting everything into the dreadnought. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to armor contempt for two CP. You go for it. Arm off of the thermal spear. Thermal spear on freeze, both hit, and you're really on freeze. It's from 12, isn't it? And you got a reroll. Oh. So one AP4, I'm definitely getting cover though. Yep. So five up safe. I make okay. it. Thank God for that, because that would have been lots of pain. Melter gum misses. But I didn't reroll. You didn't reroll a hit, no. I rerolled the wound. Still misses anyway. Okay, but he's the only one in melter melter range, isn't he? Yes. The other ones are just out of melter range. Okay, so what, what's next? He's got a small melter there, thermal spear there. A, a big melter there. Well, what are you starting with? So the big one. Thermal spear into the redundant on freeze. You can reroll a hit just like that. Both and you're wounding on freeze. Then you can reroll a wound just like that. So Five up. up. That one goes through, and this is D6? Yeah. For four, four. which comes three. three. So he's down to seven. And then the melter going into tap ring, but you've used your rerolls. And he misses. Ooh, I to, uh, hope, hope to get the charge on. Oh, do you really want to charge that tap ring though? Yes, because if I charge first, I then get to hit you before you hit me. Yes, true. And you've got one more dude left. Thermal sphere. And the melter gun's not in range of anyone because tap ring's highly behind the room because he's a clever tap ring as well as an angry one. Thermal spear into the redemptor. Here we go. Third time lucky. Both okay. hit this time, that's good. Moving on freeze. You can reel the wound. Come on, I'm, I'm cheering for you here. One of these thermal spears is bound to do it, right? One goes through. It's not going to do it. <laughs> so that's one oh. damage, which goes down to one oh. damage. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised he's alive, to be honest. The question is, I may, do I just run off the point? <laughs> Tactically, my mind say, well, my mind's... Why is telling me no? Oh, you're thinking about I, you're thinking about potentially yeah, my charging. Body, my body's telling me yes, but we'll wait. We'll wait and see how everything else goes. I mean, you need points, don't you? At the end of the day, so. Yeah. But yeah, okay, all right. So you got that chap, oh. and you've got other thermal spear dude over here. And you got this guy as well. What's he doing? He's just going to open everything into the blisters. Yeah. Well, let's do that then, and then you can decide what you do with auto cannon, man. So if I want spear into the blisters, on freeze. Both hit this time. Lovely. Wounding on freeze. Lovely. I'm getting cover again, so yeah. fives. I'm gonna get in fives, I don't know. Yeah, you're doing rather well. None this time though, and they're both in melter, melter range. range. Like, this is going to be pain. Four? It's something ridiculous like that, yes. So I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Because he doesn't reduce damage either. Mm. Yeah, melter four. So, so 2d6, but plus 8 to this, basically. So I just need to... So unless you roll double ones, I'm pretty screwed. Yeah, he's dead. But does he go bang? Does he go bang? No. He almost did. But you have killed Mr. Ballistus. So two dreadnoughts down, one remaining. 
Oh, and his little melter's gone. Oh. That's the most annoying. Well, the little melty, you see, has melted the pilot who got yeah. out of the ballistas. Um, Auto cannon man, what's he, he shooting at? He's going to gun, hopefully gun down some of the uh, hell blasters. Yeah, you were thinking about shooting them, weren't you? Because I'm not in range to shoot him back if they die, but I could potentially shoot him. Uh, but okay, auto cannons and the hell blasters. So eight, right. Auto cannons, eight shots. On threes, you can reroll a hit like that. And you're winning on two, so it's from nine, which is lovely. And you can reroll a wound like that. Oh, that, that was a two. That, yeah, so, wasn't it? two. so then you would have rerolled that one into the wound. So you wounded every time. That is six. six no AP. Well, AP one, but cover. Yeah. So threat saves. Every fail will be a dead dude. You killed four of them. Yeah. Uh, if only damage over. Do a shoot on death. Three of them will, and I'll shoot him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he he had literally nowhere. The sacrificial lamb. Nowhere to go. I. Nowhere beneficial. Well, it was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Um, all right, so they're going to shoot. They're going to supercharge because why not? They're going to hit on freeze because you can't get heavy in your in your turn, unfortunately. Uh, they're going to win on two, so I'm just going to be toughness four or less. Yes. Eight. Three AP, three two damage. What's his save? I'm assuming, he's not in power armor, is he? Or is he? Does he have one? Does he have an armor save? Yeah, no, he's just straight. Just go straight through. So, so that's three of them, yeah? Yeah, so that's six damage. That's three wounds. He dead. Right, we did your stubber quickly off camera as well. You wounded another Hellblaster. So uh, that, that's that. That rounds off your shooting phase. You've got some potential charges coming up. I do. My question is... Which this guy probably wants to charge something. He probably wants to charge something. Him on the objective, maybe, maybe not, because you need primary points. I do. <laughs> but... But you also want to kill Mr. Redemptor, because if you don't, he'll come around the corner and probably kill you. <laughs> nah, actually, I think... No, no, I don't think I should be able to get around properly. Well, yeah, because you have to come a couple yeah. of inches that way and then go that way. It's going to be a long charge if you wanted to do it. And if you run off the objective, probably not a good idea. So, we'll do him into... Him into Tech Marine. Probably doesn't need very much. Let's see what you get. Uh, oh, uh, I think you need might need a bit more than that. So, Command point you do our CPs because you got a load a minute ago. Yeah. Now that's yeah. enough. There we go. He can go in there. And then what's this guy charging? He's got a few so targets. This is the question. I could go for him. Well, if you want to go for him, you have to go all the way like, round but the I'd room. But I'd just go for these guys because no, no matter what. It's a far easier charge. Yeah. It's like a three. It's less than four. It's a three. But if I get longer, I can at least get myself... Further towards my objective, yeah. Okay. Uh, but obviously, I may as well do that because no matter what, they're going to be. I mean, if he stands still and doesn't do, do anything, he's going to be mullered by Terminators either, Eradicators. Either, either way, they're going to come into melter range. No matter, oh, oh no matter yeah. What I do. Yeah. Might I may as well, well face him. You might as well charge something, exactly. Six. It'd be enough to get you into like the second or third guy in the unit. You can start hacking away at the Dark Angel there. Poor guy. Okay. All right. I do have then, two command points. What's say Do I... Are you thinking about charging? No, I'm thinking... Do I decline a tank shock on any of Tank shock! So if I tank shock them, mm -hmm. you just remove them and I'm out of engagement range. Well, you can still pile in because you charged. Okay, so... Okay, so I'd still be able to get... You'd still be able to get an engagement range of the Librarian. And I can only get a max of six wounds, so... Yeah. So I've just used two... So, so where are you doing Tank Shot? You, tank, do, tank you are shot doing it there. here. Okay, so what's the, what's the strength of his strike profile? Uh, Ten, I believe, so I believe that so, should be so twelve. Twelve dice, yeah. Yeah, five is different. Right, Tank Shot, looking for fives or more. You get up to a maximum of six. I think you've got the magic number of six. Lovely. Six. But right. they've got the helix gauntlet. They do. So looking for sixes. I, I've got field of pains as well. It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Not as good as mine. Not now, no. Right. But you've killed three of them. Okay. And then... One, two, three. Then you can pile in into that one there. Lovely. All right. And then, so... Well, actually, you don't pile in until you technically activate them. So who are you activating first? Because I do have two CP. It's 
Mark move would be him because he's because angry Tetmaru yeah. might kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whereas, whereas I feel with that one, yeah, you're going to lose a bunch of stuff, but you've got plenty of stuff to deal with him. Whereas yes. He, whereas this, I mean, he, he he will literally be in the middle of my entire army. Whereas this cripples my entire, like, left flank. Yes. yes. I, what's his toughness? Four. He's only a, he's a normal Marine, but with a save. Four wounds, top save. Uh, so what profile are you going for? Two up, uh, we'll go for the strike. We'll see if he had the strike. Uh, three, uh, four attacks, hit on three, strength ten, minus three, and two damage. Okay, come on, go for it. So hit on three, so you get a reroll, and you got sustained hits, haven't you? Because yep. you're charged. Sustained hits are good, aren't they? Yeah, Rex. Would have been really, really nice to do so. Especially sustained hits on fives. Yeah, winning on twos. And you got a reroll if you need it. Oh, oh dear. So you got three, and it was AP three, you said? Yeah, AP three. So five up saves. And then two damage each? Three. Three damage each. So I need to make two, two saves, basically. So two five ups coming up. There's one. I could CP reroll one of them. I'm going to do it. Two reasons. One, he wants to hit you back. Two, you've got to assassinate. No, killed yes. him. Kill the Tech Marine. Okay, so, so that's a few points for assassinate. So Very I've nice. Kill two characters this turn. You have. And so yeah, I can't. He can't console there in the fit. No, and then and he then, can he can pile in and yeah. smack him. So what are you doing on, over on this flank? Striking, well, sweeping. Guys, a bit, a bit less terrifying. A bit less terrifying. Well, actually, the, the Force Sword could, <laughs> could hurt. Yeah, I mean, your toughness 10, I'm strength 5, so unlikely. Because then they feel no pain. What's their set? No, three ups. Three ups with a six-up strike. I think we'll play this one a bit safer, because that one got a bit scary. Go for the numbers, yeah. So still, if, still... if you've got sustained hits, more attacks is good, right? Yeah. So you can reroll one of those. Didn't get any sustains, but you have hit every time, so that's good. Yeah, and the and strength then, was eight, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just two. Two's. And you can reroll a wound. Very nice. So seven. Uh, yeah, so seven. AP. What's the AP of this? Uh, minus two. So fives. And then what's the damage? One a piece. One a piece. So five, six up shrugs, basically. So you, you killed, killed two guys. Okay. So, two guys and wounded the. Uh, yeah, no, I think... no it's only, only four went through. Oh. They're one damage each, aren't they? You said. Um, do I consolidate in or? You can do. Because what's your OC? Eight. Yes, yeah, so you're taking the objective there. That's annoying. It's mine now. It is. I, I, I can damage you a little bit, but it is your objective. But I will hit you back with my force weapons oh, of sorts. That's the strength set. Right, falls weapon, hitting on freeze. Sixes will explode. Lovely. And I'm winning on fives. And that's two. two AP1. So that's four up saves. D3 damage each. So D3. For three. And you've got five up field pains now. I'll take three wounds off you. So you've got nine remaining. I don't think I've wounded him yet, have I? Or have I? Oh, I have. Yeah, he got scratched by something. Oh yeah, my melt rifle did like one wound or two or something rubbish, didn't it? So what's your now? He's on eight. Okay, yeah, so cool. So that's the end of your turn. You've killed two characters. Yeah, so that is eight. And you... And I mean three... No, you oh, no, no, you know because he's run that yeah. way. In fairness, that I deny, I've denied you five. I mean, you could have potentially got another assassinate. And, yeah. it's, and you've denied me primary. So it was, I think it was still the right move, .co.uk. To run onto my home objective, but you've got some points for assassinate. We'll work that out and we'll come back for Death Watch turn three. Right, Death Watch turn three. Uh, I only got uh, five on the primary because you, you nicked my home objective. Very rude, don't like it. So I've done the same. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I only had this objective for my assault marines basically, and I've got overwhelming force and cleanse, kill things on objectives, and do actions on objectives. So they're hiding behind there, they're going to cleanse that. They've got nothing to do. That's fine. He's just hiding there still. Um, he's my over-moment target. Let's kill him. 
Um, I've moved the Terminators a bit closer, fallen back with the Librarian, eradicated stain still, because they're heavy, apparently. So let's get plus one to hit there. Librarian's a coward. He, well, he, he's points you, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Redemptor's come around the corner, so he's going to try and kill one of them, or maybe two if he's lucky. Hellblasters, they've got assault weapons, they've advanced, they're going to shoot him, and the Spectre's kill team have come in on your home objective. It was sticky, now it's not. No. And um, put some fire that way as well, and be annoying. So that's that. Let's start off the shooting phase with six lovely cyclone missiles at point blank range into your armor warglaive thing. Because that's just fantastic, isn't it? So used to these cowardly marines running away just to shoot. So these are going to hit on freeze and re-rolling. Yep. Oh no, everything's hit. Lovely. I'm winning on fire though because you are toughness 10. But I can't, I'm not rolling wounds not anymore, free. but I'll take that. I'm going to wind it back. Uh, that is free AP2, so five ups. And then D6 damage each, which is lovely. What's their rank? The eradicators? Uh, 18, so I'm pretty sure they can see at least one of those. I'm going to use rotate iron shields for him. You want to do it on him? Yes. Okay, all right. I'll allow it. So that's three. Three four ups then. Didn't make any difference. Two go through. 2d6 damage. Uh, I'm going to spend a command point because that was rubbish. Let's re-roll that one. That's better. Have eight wounds. Feel no pains. How many wounds have you got left? Eight. Oh, that's convenient. But you have five up feel no pains now. Yep. So you should be okay. Uh, so you take four. Okay, we should be your four remaining. But I now have many Storm Bolter shots. Oh. Oh. Yeah, four. yeah, chip damage. So, bang, bang, bang. I mean, you've got a free up save, right? So, I might chip a few through. And then sixes. Oh, or I might finish that's you off completely. Say, that's a good. Where were these with the Hell Blasters earlier? Uh, <laughs> six Thanks. free up saves. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, two have gone to. through, but you got to feel no pains. Two have gone through. So you've got two wounds remaining, yeah? Yeah, I'll finish them off in the charge phase. Right. Cool. Let's uh, shoot some other things. Right, I'll finish them off in combat. I've got a chain fist, power fist, over moment. I, I, sh I should be able to do it. Um, eradicators into the night that they're all in range of. Although, actually, are they all in range of him? Yes, they're all in range of him. So let's put three melters into him instead, because Dreadnought's dealing with them. He's fine. He's got it covered. Yeah. Uh, so hitting on freeze with the eradicators. Rerolling if I need to. Don't need to. But we're on fives and sixes. But it's all right. I'm still rerolling because the eradicators. So that's two five-plus invulnerable saves. Take one. D6 damage, which is re-rollable. I'm not going to re-roll that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, did you not say they are the re-roll army? They are the re-roll so army, but, but I don't need to re-roll. I don't need to re-roll. Six for no pains. Five damage has gone through, so he's got seven remaining? Seven. Yes, interesting. Okay, that wasn't bad. I'll take that. Um, let's go over here. Shoot plasmas, bolters, all that into them. Let's start off with... 10 supercharged plasma shots from the Hellblasters. Thankfully, no sustain. No sustain, but they are still lethal, but no rerolls or anything. So hitting on freeze. Oh, so, I've got more, more lethals now, Let, than I did with 40 but dice earlier. Missed, I was saying, I missed a fair few. And then these are win on fives. No. Three. AP three, so five ups. Two damage each, so four feel no pains. Two go through so far. Okay, so two damage on him so far. Ten. And then hazardous checks. They're all fine. Which is funny enough a time you kind of want them to not be fine. Eh, I don't mind. Heavy bolt pistol's not assault, can't shoot that, but I can shoot ten bolters from the Spectrus kill team. So let's do that. Bang! Hit on freeze. I think it's hit. Lovely. And then sixes. Sixes to wound. Bang. Uh, one. One three plus save, sir. Which you have no. failed. Feel no pain. You fail. No. Aha! Take another wound. 
Right, moving on to the Redemptor. He's going to put everything into the guy on the objective. All right. Yeah. I was thinking about shooting the other one and charging that one, but I don't think even with charging a tank, you're going to kill that one, and then you could strike me back and do some damage. So I'll just make sure I kill him. Supercharged plasma, D6 plus one for four shots. It's been reliably four shots today. Yeah, you haven't had any ones. No, two. or all sixes. <laughs> it's just, I, been, it's I, just I, been down the middle every time. Uh, hit number three. No fanciness going on here, unfortunately. He's done better than Rex's, so... Yeah, well, he survived. Uh, winning on fives. Uh, one, one invulnerable save. Three damage. You make it. And then I've got my Gatling gun. Oh, hazardous chest. He's fine. Eight shots from the Gatling. Freeze. That's not great. Uh, but then I've got sixes and they're devastating. So one. One feel no pain. So one goes through. Storm bolters from the nipples. So you take one. And then sixes. We roll them for twin linked. No. no. And then I've got the rocket pod one. for one shot, which hits and doesn't wound. So he's done just a wound. Okay. See, so your rocket pod's been doing the misses, but. Yeah, well. Your plasma's been. Well, good number of shots. Yeah, they've been alright. If you bring two, of, two or three of them, you normally find at least one of them does alright. Um, right, so it is now time for the charges. You'll see. Um, unless I roll terrible, he's making it in. So let's roll. He's in. I'll be doing tank shot for a CP. That is 14 dice. Come on. Fives and sixes. Five? Yeah, five. Five, five up, feel no pains. I only, only saving grace against this. As I slam into you, I'm going to do four more wounds. Okay, that makes up for the terrible shooting. Terminator's going in here. You've only got a couple of wounds left. They should be able to finish you off. I'll be very surprised if they don't. We have O for Moment and Chain Fist and Power Fist and all the goodness. Uh, and then I'm going to try a cheeky 9 inch charge into your Elrin because he's rubbish in combat. With the. With the kill team. And they don't make it. Okay. Fine. Well, if you did that, would I not still keep the objective? Uh, well, it's, it's, I think it's based on a phase, isn't it? At the start or end of any phase or something? We'll check the rules because that's always interesting. And then we'll come back for the fight phase. Right, rules reference. I had to be on the end of the turn to make it non-sticky. So, Start or end. Yeah, so essentially if I charged you, I'd have to have one of them on the objective, basically. But I failed the charge, so it's mine anyway. Fantastic. Also, cleanse. Apparently, you can cleanse your opponent's objectives, which I didn't realise. I thought it was just no man's land, so I would have done that instead, but, you know, live and learn. Right, uh, so let's start with the Redemptor punching your dude on freeze. And then winning on freeze. Strength 12. Uh, I've got a CP, so yeah, two, two five ups, three damage each. So either way I survive. Either way you survive, yeah. So six damage, but you got feel no pains. Uh, so you survive on a wound, sir. If my shooting was slightly better. Uh, oh, no, killed. I've got more than that. I'm on seven. Oh, you got five of Philly Pains, sorry. Yes, I keep forgetting that you're not looking for sixes now, are you? So I found. So, so you're on three remaining. Bracketed, which is annoying, but... Well, you still got the objective. I was hoping to knock you off a bit. Yeah, but thankfully. never mind. So thankfully, that doesn't... Right. Chain Fist. On fours. The open moment. Don't need it, apparently. Okay. As you vehicle three up, there's one. Five up. AP two. See, Chain Fists are rubbish. Right. Power Fists. <laughs> Which there's Six. two of, so hit on freeze, re rolling. This is winning on this five, is. so that's from eight. So three, five up saves. So four damage, but you'll feel no pains and two wounds. You could survive. You don't, unfortunately. Does it go boom boom? No, oh, no, it's not way to survive. He does, does go boom boom. How many more wounds does he do when he goes boom boom? Is it D3? I wish it was more. Yeah, D3. D3? I mean, one of them's on a wound, so you're definitely killing a Terminator. And then. Wounding another one. So what do you get? One. Kill a Terminator. And then. 
Imagine, because was it six inches away? So imagine. Yeah, you'll, 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 get, you'll get all the units, librarian. A wound. Eradicators. You could kill an eradicator. You do yeah. kill an eradicator. Well, I'll take the one nearest to you. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, bye bye. Um, and then you can hit back my redemptor. Right, so hitting you on freeze. Yeah, striking the rede redemptor. No sustained hits this time because you didn't charge, but you've hit three times. And, and then fours. Strength, strength 10, is it? The strength? Yeah. Okay. No, but you can re roll one. No. Okay. So I survive, you survive, but you still got the objective. Fine. Right. So at the end of my turn, I killed one thing off an objective. Yeah, yes. that's what I did because he wasn't. Yeah, just one thing and only only cleanse one objective, which was that one because I didn't realize I could have done that one. But never mind. I get six points as we'll move into Imperial Knights turn four. Right, Knights turn four. You got five on the primary. Because I think that one. Ha! Um, and then, essentially, you've moved this chap along this way. I'm about to overwatch with my eradicators. He's, he's stayed fine. in combat. He's getting a bit closer, so he can't fail the charge. And he's gone to deal with some pesky space marines. So let's see if eradicators can overwatch and kill this guy. Because if I don't kill him, you see, he's going to murder this lot. So That's the that's the plan. Eradicators. The only reason why I'm doing it is because they get their rerolls. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking for sixes. I can reroll. Come on. Sixes. No, oh, that's a shame. Oh, wait, you, ne you never know. You never know. It was worth it because, yeah, he's going to murder that lot. Yeah. And then I've got nothing over here. Right, I'm going to start with the Vindicari because I want to. He, he's done something for like. He's, just he's, like the multiple games I ran him. He's done something today. He's going to be shooting the lieutenant. He can now see the lieutenant, yeah. So, so off he goes. So he hit on twos. Two. And he's hit. He hits. And you're winning on a three. Strip seven. Uh, oh, no, that's still the same wounds. It is, yeah, so straight through to... And something funny happens as well if it's a, if it's a six. No, it's for critical hits. If you hit on a six and you get more damage. It's a critical hit. Oh. Yeah, so if you, if you hit on a six, you get more damage. But, but you can I get a critical if it doesn't have anything that qualifies? A critical hit is just a natural just, hit, just natural a hit roll of six, yeah. But you didn't get a hit roll of six, you got a wound roll of six, which is devastating wounds, which is D3 plus three damage? Yeah, so yeah. He's, he's dead then, because he's only got four wins. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, because it's minimum four, isn't it? Yeah. So you kill the lieutenant. Oh, no. So that's another... That's but that's fun another. fact, he's in a unit of Hellblasters, so he could shoot you back on a three. Well, not shoot the, the assassin back, he's it. well out of range, but he'll shoot his heavy bolt pistol at your uh, armor, Joe. And you'll hit. Hits and then sixes. Ah! Can you kill the lieutenant? That's all right. That's fine, because then I can shoot the Hellblasters without worrying about lethals. Yes, that is very true. Finnick Finnick has done well today. Uh, I'm going to fire the auto cannons into the. Oh, well, no, because they're on. Yeah, uh, auto cannons into the Hellblasters just to try and kill them off, and then the stubber into the infiltrate. No. Scouts. No, the... Spectra's kill team. Kill team. The dude's right in front of you. <laughs> so, right, so what are you doing first? Start off with the author cannons. Okay. In your phrase. You can reroll a hit. No. And you're winning on twos, okay. and you can reroll a wound. Don't need to. Five. So five, just free ups, because you are... They're, they're all in cover. They're all, they're all hugging some trees. They love trees, Hellblasters. You've killed one of them. There was one of them wounded, so he dies. Do you, does he shoot you on death? Yes, he does. Lovely. Let's supercharge and shoot you. I've hit you once. It's not lethal, though, annoyingly. And it hasn't wounded you. See? Killing the lieutenant yeah. helped that, see? And then... It did heavy, something. Heavy stubber. Into the kill. Oh, no, it's not a heavy stubber. It's just a normal stubber. Well, whatever it is. It's shooting them. And then freeze. Really on force, but you haven't, you haven't done a real wound yet, have you? So you can do that. One. Just one at minus one. I'm fine. Okay. Okay, so there's a bit of a fight going on over here and a bit of a fight going on over here. What's next? The one that's already in combat. Yep, okay, so he's going to hit on falls because engagement range and bracket in and blah, blah, blah. Thermal spear. You fit once, make it twice, and you win on freeze. Lovely. And so this is minus four. I'm definitely all getting cover. I'm right in front of you. So six <laughs> Sixes. 
No. It's, He's going to be dead because it's going to be plus eight. It's plus eight. Yes. So no matter what you roll, even the I'm reducing damage. I'm dead. Do I go boom? I do, do go boom. Hazard D three. He's. You could do it. I could do it. D three on the guy who's wounded then. For two, so he's not going to die. But you got your fiono pains. Oh yes. Oh, don't forget your fiono pains. So he just takes a wound. D three on the other guy. For two as well. Then you feel no pains. He takes one as well. Okay. Oh, now I've got to make him a health bar. You're running out of wound dice. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then you've got two more armour just to shoot things. We're both running out of assets, really, aren't we? There isn't much left. There's been lots of death. He's in range of things with the thermal spear. He's in range of everything with the thermal spear. Right. What are you going for? Terminus, because I, I think the thermal spheres, yeah, thermal spheres do anything in range. Yeah, cool, so, okay. So we'll shoot the terminus. Okay, so two shots on freeze. And you can reroll one of those, it doesn't help oh. you. Right, this guy. Um, I right, he's putting the thermal spear into the terminus. Melt again, you're going for the librarian, so thermal spear. Like it's both times this time and it's strength 10 isn't it or 12, 12. well either way it's twos so minus four balls so you've got your four up in balls and then you're definitely in melter range aren't you so that's just a dead terminator right I think yes and then you've got a melter going into a librarian who's just out of melter melter range well, I haven't used my rerolls you haven't used your reroll no it hits it wound on a two it wounds which D6 is minus da four. D6 damage. Got another assassinate. So two more this turn. Two more well, if you can. I've still got one left. <laughs> Unfortunately. You're not going to be able to max it, but you've done oh. very well with it, to be fair. I don't think you've got... Because he's, he's lone optimum as yeah, well. <laughs> the best yeah. I could do now is just deny you... As many points as possible. Points. Yeah. Right, yeah, so which, which we're shot, doing quite he well. Shot, with. He shot, he shot, he shot. So that's everyone's shot. Cool. Charges. Are there going to be any charges? Um, I mean, this guy might as well charge something. They're, yeah, they're so both well out of charge range. He shot. Um, him here. It's the eradicators. Yeah, he's in. Easy. You've nicked and that, you've nicked that will objective again. Be... Good tank shot. Yeah. Do you need to tank shot? I mean, it makes sure. I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to kill anything else anytime soon. Fair enough. And then... Is he going to charge them? Oh, actually, wait. Do I want to tank shot over there? I don't know, do you? Because he's, he's not very good in combat, is he? Helverin goes in, six, and, and you said you wanted to tank shot here, not there. So yeah. we'll get your tank shot ready and see if you can kill some eradicators. Because then, ideally... I then just consolidate into your Terminator. Well, if you, if you kill them on tank shot, it's in the charge phase. Fight phase, you can activate, pile into the Terminator and smack the Terminator. That's like a, <laughs> definitely a good tactic. So, you got 12 dice, because it's strength 10 normally, the strike. Yeah, it's high. So, 12 dice, looking for fives. I've got six wounds. You can do a maximum of six mortal wounds. You could kill them both. Uh, I think I've got one left on the wound. Done five, yeah. There's one, right. one left on a wound. So you're going to have to kill him, unfortunately, not the Terminator. But it's fine. It was worth a go. I, 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 if I kill him, I'm going to still pile in. I mean, you still definitely got the objective. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you might as well start here, though, right? Seeing as you're here. Yeah. You've got no CP2. No. Right. We won't tempt fate, and we will go for the sweep. I've only got one wound, so it makes sense. Just to guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> if you went for strike and miss, you would not be very happy. So hitting on three, sixes explode. You can re-roll one. There aren't any sixes. And then it's strength eight, you said, this week? So you yeah, only got freeze. So freeze because they're strength tough Th at six, aren't they? Yeah. It? You can re-roll one of those. And that's six at AP something. AP minus two. So five up. Personally, I think their sweep profile is better than their stroke strike profile. He is dead. And then... You can send it into the Terminator if you want to. Depends if you want to get hit by a chain fist for free. Do you want to get hit by a chain fist? 
I mean, um, you either get hit by a chain fist or you get hit by cyclone missiles and then hit by a chain fist. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> well, actually, no, because either way, you can shoot into him next turn anyway. No, because I'm not shooting into a combat and I'm not a vehicle. It's blast as well, isn't it? Or... No, but the crap missiles aren't blast, but I'm in engagement range with you. I'm not a vehicle. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yeah. No, if so I was yeah. shooting into another combat, I could do it. In but that case, yes, that's what we will so, be doing. Yeah. And then over here, he's just going to stomp his feet a bit. He's going to tap dance on some... Can he, he, can he embarrass these marines like he embarrassed that demon prince? Oh, no, don't even that. mention that. That was terrible. Uh, right, so you hit on freeze. Or hit. Lovely. Six into fours. So really on freeze. Don't even need the rerolls. No, it's it fine. Really. Three up saves. One, one damage. Six up for no pain. You, you wound one of them. Right. Okay. I'll hit you back here while I'm here. So that's 15 attacks. Right. Kill team guys punching your uh, helver in on freeze. But I'll be wounding on sixes because I've got fists trying to punch metal. It's probably not a good idea unless you're the iron fist. Uh, that is two free up saves. I've tickled you, but you got to feel no pain. Oh, you, you didn't enjoy getting tickled. Right, chain fist, fours. Hit twice. Wound on freeze. Both wound. Two at AP2, sir. It's kind of silly that they're only at AP2. Yeah. They used to be like more AP than Powerfist, but they're it, not anymore. Again, the comparison in Heresy is they will... Oh, it's got two fives. Made saves. Chain fists destroy vehicles. Oh, chain fists are amazing in, in Heresy or, or 40k, 7th edition. Yeah. Backwards. Um, cool. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. You have none for engage, but you did do some assassinating, so we'll work out yeah, some so points. Two more. I'll be back for Death Watch turn four. Okay, at the end of Imperial Knights turn four, they had 40 points. Eight more on the secondary for assassinate. Death Watch at the start of my turn four, uh, I had one objective because you nicked this one and you nicked that one back off of me because it was yours and I nicked it and things back, so i'm up to 37 now so you have three points in the lead and then i got some secondaries i got catching the outpost and area denial i did spend my cp to get rid of tempting target because you chose that one over there that was never going to happen so catching the outpost nick your objective your home objective for eight points area denial get something hold within six of the center five points fantastic terminate was battle shot fine you can just sit there Hellblasters, battle shot, which is annoying because now it means I need to kill that knight to, to yeah. OC off of it. Didn't have a CP for Insane Bravery, unfortunately, because I spent it to get Air Denial. Uh, Lieutenant with Combo Weapon, he advances he's on that objective. He should be absolutely fine. You've got no way of moving and getting within 12 inches of him, so you're not going to get any more assassinate points. Boo hoo, although you have killed four out of the five, so well done. <laughs> Um, the Assault Intercessor with Jump Packs or Assault Marines. They got a nice advance, they've jumped in there. They're going to get me five points for Arizona, and then they'll probably die soon after, but fine, five points. Uh, Hellblasters have just moved up. He's my for moment target. Kill him. Eight more points. So, let's start off with Hellblasters shooting dude. They haven't got any OC at the moment, these Hellblasters, so I might as well supercharge. Yeah. <laughs> well, the only way to do it, use them. Uh, so I'm hitting on fours, because they're shooting into combat, but yeah. over the moment. So, fours re-rolling. No lethals or anything, because you're killed by Lieutenant. Which I was not very happy about. Uh, and then I'm winning on fives. So only two. Two, two five up in vulnerable saves. Wow. I'll use a CP to rotate iron shields. Rotate your iron shields. I because think... I've got nothing else to use my CP yeah. for. I think you're supposed to do that when you're targeted, but never mind. Uh, Off you go. So four ups. Didn't make any difference. Two damage and feel no pains. Two wounds taken off. And I've got some hazardous checks. Come on, die. All four of you, die. <laughs> Two of them die. Brilliant. But do they shoot? Well, they're not doing me any good sitting there alive, really. But one of them shoots you. Cool, right. We should also have a charge. We should also because why not? He's missed both times, but over a moment. Now he's hit you both times. Okay. I need fives again. 
There you go, just like that. Two more four ups because you're rotating. Four oh. damage, four feel no pains. And then two and more two. wounds go through. Okay, get in there slowly. Right, bolt pistols into Helverin from the Spectre's Kill Team. Here we go. Freeze, re rolling for oath of the moment. And then sixes. There's three of them, okay. that'll do. <laughs> three free ups. One more goes through, feel no pain. One more goes through. Okay, so that puts you down to four wounds. I am bracketed. Can I kill you in combat by just punching you with Marines? I mean, it's, it's the only option I've got left. <laughs> it's, it's fine, yeah. I, I, I denied you scoring uh, it this turn at least. Yes, but I really would like an extra eight points. I'd really like I that. Wouldn't. I'd like really like that. that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it for shooting. So into the charge phase. Charge the Hellblasters in. Oh, look, they've made it. Yeah. Let's punch you with some Space Marines. Right, Hellblasters punching the Helver in. Six attacks on freeze. And um, open moment. Lovely. And sixes. And sixes to wound. None. Okay, right. That's my charging units done. You've got an option of this dude over here or that dude over there. I guess we'll do this dude. Do this dude over here. But do, which one do I do? Do I do a strike or? I, I just personally, I think the sweep's just the all round better attack. Cause it's only, it's still, it's, yeah, but I there's only know. two difference in strength. So you're not winning on two, you're winning on threes, but it's certainly more attacks. Because the AP puts me on my invulnerable save anyway, doesn't it? AP yeah. two. But it's only damage, is it damage one? Damage one, so you need to fail three of them, whereas mm. you need to fail just a single one. Oh, of the other that's one. true. What are you going with them? Uh, I'll risk it, even though I don't have sustained. Yeah, I've got sustained. But you've you got to reroll though, haven't you? Because you're a knight, so yeah. we roll one of those. Look, there you go. Winning on twos with a reroll. Lovely. Free, I need to make three invulnerable saves. I don't make three invulnerable saves, he's dead. Perfect. And then I can punch you with some Phobos dudes. Right. Punching a robot with fists again. I'm trying it again. At some point it will work. Hitting on threes, re-rolling. That's pretty good hitting, but wounding will be the tricky part. Because I've, oh, I've hit you every oh, time. Yeah. Oh my God. Dice, right, sixes. One, two. Two, two, three plus saves. So either way, I live. You live. Yes. Two free apps. You're absolutely fine. Um, brilliant. Okay, and then he gets to stomp on some dude's back, I guess. What, what does he want to stomp on? Dude, he's going to stomp on the uh, kill team. Okay. No, fours, because I'm bracketed. He's poorly now. There you go, fit three times. Winning on freeze. And you've got a reroll. Two and no AP. Two free up saves. Six up feel no pain. Come on, make it. No, you've killed the guy. Oh, do they also get the Phoenix? Yeah, they got a Phoenix Gauntlet as well. Yeah. Yeah, they're infiltrators, but not infiltrators. Yeah. They're more sneaky. So, so I haven't got capture doing that post. But you do have area denial. I have got area denial. The question is now, do I keep that for next turn? I have to literally kill that in combat now. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get rid of that and get a CP. I'll get just the five points. So I'll be in the lead slightly, but you do have two objectives at the moment. So, yes, let's do that. Right, Imperial Knights turn five. It's the end game. You scored 10 on the primary. Oh, yes, you have your home objective as well. Yes, yes. okay, so you're on 55 to 42 then. Like, just how OC it. Uh, battle shot test, though, actually. Well, no, because that is not until it comes around to your turn, isn't it? Not? Every command phase that you have, ah. if it's under half strength, you have to take the battle shot. So, what are you doing for his battle shot? Oh, for. Do you insane brave? Yes, yes I, yeah. In, insane bravery, too. Yeah, to guarantee the five points. Yeah. Because yeah. he's the only one that's under half strength, isn't he? Yeah. He's he, the rest he, of them, yeah. He, he's under half. Okay, cool. Yeah, so 15 on the primary, and uh, yeah, assassinates off the cards. You're not going to be able to kill him.
But you've lined up everything to kill the light in the middle. Yes. Basically. So <laughs> these two are in range of everything. He's only got the thermal sphere. So we'll start with him with just the thermal sphere, because that's all there is. Cool, okay. Both hit. Both wound. Minus four, down to minus three. One of them lives. What's the damage? D6? One's yeah, dead. So one's dead. I'll take the one that was in melter range for the other guy. Then he's going to fire everything. It, 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 which one did you shoot with then? Uh, him. Yeah, okay. He, he, he wasn't in. His little yeah. one wasn't in. Yeah. So the, these guys' melters aren't in range now either, because I've took the guy who was in melter gun well, range. No, they're not. <laughs> no, because they were literally both just in range with the guy at the back, weren't yeah. they? Cheeky. Should have shot one of them first. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, next one. Thermal spear. One hit, but you can re-roll. Both hit. Winning on twos. I need sixes again. Oh! oh. <laughs> Final thermal <Is> spear. <laughs> You can re-roll the hit. You've hit both times. Wounding on twos. I need sixes again. No, they both go through. D6 damage each, though. So one at a time. Okay, both of them. So I'm going to make the charge pretty much impossible as well. So they will live. Wow. They will live! He can shoot out of combat, can he? He can do. Yes. Because you've already uh, given up this one. Yes, but if I kill you in combat, that will get me more primary. Yes. Yes. And I, I score the primary at the end of my turn as well. I guess everything just into the infiltrators, but not infiltrators. He's going to shoot the not infiltrators. Okay. But you're hitting on falls because you're in combat and poorly and all the things. Okay. Uh, I'll pop smoke with them actually, just to give them the benefit of cover. It won't make any difference to your hit rolls. Just means I'll have three up saving instead of four ups. You hit on fours, three of those were threes. Oh, I know them, sorry. Minus one to hit because combat and oh, yeah. smoke and bracket and all the other things. So you said four of them were threes. Yeah, something like that. Two to wind. And you can roll one of those. Three! But because I've got smoke screen, three up saves. Because even though I'm in front of you, I'm getting cover. Yeah. There we go. Didn't even need the smoke screen. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, That's it. That just means you can't use it for anything else. Well, there was nothing else to use it for, really. Stubber. Hitting on fours. And uh, winning on fours. And then... Did you use your reroll wound on yeah. the other one? You did, you? So freeze. Oh, they both gone through. So another one is dead. Uh, no, because I'm going to command right. point reroll one of those. And then I've got six up for no pain. Damn it. Come on, give a six. No, you have killed another one. Okay. So you're getting rid of my... He has so, to die. And you're also getting rid of three attacks every time you kill a dude. Yeah. <laughs> and what I'm saying, if they don't kill him, I... You've denied me five points. Well, because uh, you can no longer out-OC me. Yeah, I need to kill you. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any charges from you because they're all going to be too far away now because... They were yeah. only just in melter range of the guy who was at the back. So I'm hitting you over there, basically. Yeah. So I'll hit you with the not infiltrators first. You now only have nine attacks. You've killed two of them. They're hitting on freeze. You steal the open moment target. They've hit every time. That, that wasn't the problem last time either, though, was it? It, it was wounding. Uh, nothing. Nothing. And then... You can tap dance on someone. Who do you want to tap dance on? I'm going to tap dance on the non-infiltrators. The non-infiltrators. What, what is your problem with because, my non-infiltrators? Because I know the other one will get just another free turn of shooting. Okay, fair enough. If I were to kill one. Uh, you can re-roll a hit. Like that. And you're winning on freeze. And you can re-roll a wound. And I've got three no, saves. Yeah. And they're all fine. Okay. okay, and then I've got two hell blasters that can punch you in the face. Hit it on freeze. Oh. Okay. Didn't, didn't need the reroll, but I need sixes. Come on, sixes. One. There's one! One free up save. And you're fine. <sighs> fine. Is that is all she wrote. So that's the end of your turn. Oh, no. I thought I'd fire him off. But it wouldn't have mattered because you had two left over. You can, you, can, you can shoot and try and kill one of them if you want. Because well, it would affect the amount of OC up I could potentially have flying off somewhere. No, off. Because I scored the end of my turn. 
Shoot one anyway. Go on. Just do it. Yeah. You could kill a dude. Hit one or two. It's a critical hit, so it's going to be loads of damage, but you're wounding on a three. Yeah. Yes. And it's devastating you kill one. Because then, then it's like D6 was... plus three damage or something. So you can kill the guy who's not the sergeant. I think what happens is... It ups the damage, doesn't it? Yeah, add three to the damage characteristic after attacks. So it's D3 plus six, basically. So seven damage. He's very dead. Yeah. Right, cool. Right, so we'll, you finish on the same amount of points you started on at the start of your turn, basically. It's 55. So I'm 13 points behind... And I score everything at the end of my turn. Right, Death Watch turn five, and boy is it a nail biter. <laughs> so you are 13 points in the lead. And at the end of my turn, I'll be getting at least five here. And then I've got two other objectives that I could maybe get. And the secondaries I got, well, Defend the Stronghold, rubbish. You're all over it. Deploy Teleport Homer, two options. One, Sit here, hold that objective and deploy it there. That's eight points for the objective and deploy teleport Emma. Or fly over there, get five points for deploy teleport Homer, and then risk it all to then get that objective off you and get 15 points. It's close. I don't do risky things. I'm going to guarantee and get deploy teleport Emma there and that primary and that primary. So that's my 13. I've spent a CP for insane bravery. Right, so that's the 13. It's a draw. Essentially, if I kill him, though, yeah, but I, but then I'll get an extra five primary at the end and I'll snatch it by five points. I've managed to at least whittle away some of my attacks. Yes. So, I mean, I've got battle shot test for the Hellblasters, but I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest. They've passed anyway. For what difference that makes. Uh, and I've positioned my lieutenant so we can get one cheeky combi weapon shot off as well. And of course, that is my open moment yeah. target, obviously. So let's try a cheeky combi weapon shot first. It's going to work. Which will now hit on a four because he's shooting into combat. It will. But it's missed. But I've got open moment. He's hit. He a six to win, but it will go straight through. But obviously, you've got feel no pains. Yeah. No. Okay. It's the only thing he's done all game. <laughs> well, fair, so you did make this area a no-go. That that was yeah. You stayed away from, stayed away from the kill box. Um, I've got five bolt pistols there. I'll just do them all at once. It doesn't really make any difference. Hitting on freeze, re-rolling for a for moment. Everything's hit. I need sixes. Come on, sixes. There's one, one free up save. You fail it. Feel no pain. You fail yeah. it. So you got three wounds remaining. Okay, I've got no charges. You will hit one of those units first. I think I'm going to try and stomp on the one that has the most attacks. Well, every guy there has three attacks. It doesn't matter which unit it is. Hellblasters has got three attacks. Infantry has well, got three if I stop them, it stops the Hellblasters from shooting again. So I'll shoot the not infiltrate. Stomp the not Yeah, because if you kill a Hellblaster, you could shoot you in the face with a bot pistol. Yeah, fair enough. So you're going to stop the not infiltrators because for some reason you've got something against them. Are you bracketed? Was it just OC that they go down with? No, they get bracketed. Okay, so you've hit once. When you want a free, reroll the wound. You're not going to kill any of them, but one of them does take a wound and fails his feel no pain. Right. Okay, I don't know why I put the wound dice there because it makes just no say, difference. Thank, right. <laughs> thank God for the OC remaining the same. Yes, so I've got five guys there, each with three attacks. I'm just going to do them all at the same time because it makes no difference. Whatsoever. Gives me a bigger panic attack seeing those sixes. <sighs> free wounds. Come on, this is like the third time I've been trying to punch this thing to death. I'm hitting on freeze. Oath of moment. That's a good start. Miss once. One. Got a few sixes on the hit rolls, but I need them on the wound rolls. Come on. One. one. So I can't do it. You'll live. It ends in a draw. Basically, I was just saying. I think over there was flashbacks to the to the demon prince. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. Hellbrain, the mightiest melee unit. I didn't really have much going into him, though. To be honest, it was just a few hellblasters, yeah. it, which got weakened because you got rid of the lieutenant because of the pesky yes. vindicator. You actually did some proper work today. He, did. he, he actually landed the bullet. Kill my captain. Kill my second in command. The lieutenant. 
And then... And I think also yeah, getting yeah. out of range to take them down by half without being able to be retaliated at. Yeah, that, that, that might have... Yeah, because they, they retaliated and shot What's-His-Face instead, didn't they? So yeah. they could they could have chipped a few more wounds off of him. Yeah, no, that, that, was, that was a good I play. could have maybe had more control up there in that top corner if, if Rex didn't just... Yeah, Rex wow. whiffed badly this game, didn't he? He literally did nothing apart from die. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm looking at replacing him with a Castellan. Yeah, and, and my Hellblast has whiffed... Well, big time when they shot him, to be honest. Considering, they, they, considering what they can do on average. Yeah. But because they whiffed, I'd then put more firepower into him from elsewhere. But yeah, I mean, the, now they, the, 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 the fights they over here were interesting between the Dreadnoughts and the Armagers. And, the, and the, 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 yeah, with the little ones. And your little lady coming around and murdering all the intercessors. That was a very that, unexpected that, that, outcome. That, that was pretty good. And the Terminator's scrapping away with this guy. Those Cyclone missiles, though, were very concerning. I mean, when you've got six of them and yeah. you can give them lethal hits or sustained hits and re-rolls to wound them things, they suddenly become half-decent. Yeah, well, they did <laughs> drop, drop against the big knights. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah interesting. I think I probably should have armor contested my first Redemptor when you shot at him with Auto Cannon Man, though. But I wasn't expecting. No, I, I no thought a free. I think a free up save. I was like, oh, I'll probably fail a couple. I saved. Like, I failed like five or something silly. Yeah, you went down from twelve wounds uh, down to. Yeah, I, I, I dropped a lot of wounds there. So I think I landed three. So I did like about no because I bracketed you. I think you took me down to like two wounds or something or three yeah, wounds. Yeah, because, so something... because then you healed. Oh. Yeah. Whereas if Armour contempted him and I've two at saves, you probably would have done nothing. Yeah. And but then I think but target... you still but you still had three guys here, so you probably would have got through or would have just held you up a bit longer. Targeting your armor contempt with the CPU oh, yeah. increase was a good move. It's yeah. either that or a CPU or armor contempt all day long, I think, with the cladiest thing in the jiggy. I like the assault intercessors with their speed. That was helpful, especially towards the end. Um yeah, no, very interesting game. Very close. I mean, yeah, it, was, it, was. I mean it was a draw, so of course it was <laughs> close. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Incredibly. Very interesting. So yeah, thanks for the game. Yeah. I'm sure we'll see you again. Pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you in the next one.